I ain't tripping. Man, we was stage. We won't even be using the mic. That's the crazy thing. You recording? Yeah. All right, yeah, I am too. All right. You got me. this. I see it. This yours. Uh, this yours, Rob. Do your, do your introduction. Bro, all right. Yo, what's up? We going live. This is your boy, Rob Glow. This is the Lost Ones podcast featuring some very special guests on the show. My niggas, the whole time podcast. Introduce yourselves, you know what I'm saying? It's Remy Ring, you know, you know. I said what y'all is wrong. You know, hey, my, my guy. Hey, my Instagram, uh, it ain't even Sue Remy no more. It's just Remy two times. Nigga, you got like five Instagrams, bro. Man, we do though, yeah. <laughs> We ain't gonna even talk about those, man. <laughs> I've been trying to tag this nigga into certain <laughs> things, and it's the wrong page. I'm like, damn. I used, I used to be getting caught up. I used to be trying to be sneaky on the other ones, all type, but just just oh, right, right, man, nah. them niggas. That's why you got trust issues. <laughs> For sure. <Yeah. laughs> can't even trust myself at times. That's the crazy thing about it. He got trust issues because he was one of those niggas. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know what's you know what's funny? What's why you said that? I think a lot of women don't understand that about niggas, like. We don't even trust ourselves at times in certain situations. And they just, that's why our trust issues with women just go straight left. Because <laughs> it's at times we don't even trust ourselves in the decisions we making. So how I do you know, up? I know it's another me out there. Like, I'm already knowing it's another me with, with way better punchlines, way it is. Like, like, I'm already knowing, like, yeah, so. I mean, if I was just a, a slimy nigga, I'd be just doing whatever and not give a <laughs> fuck. <laughs> but I care a little bit. You gotta and you gotta be selfish at one point. Like at one point in time, you gotta be like selfish, like I gotta do everything for me. Like I just I just wanna please myself. You got to. I mean it's it's different from being selfish and, and doing for yourself and you just being a complete asshole and <laughs> being narcissistic. <laughs> it's it, it's really a difference though. Like you gotta you gotta like think about yourself and do for yourself and, and focus on yourself at a certain point in time, but People who just so narcissistic, they don't really care about other people's feelings or you yeah, know what they yeah, like when yeah, like I yeah. start giving myself full attention until this year, my nigga, until January hit. I always man, work with other people and shit. I'm just now focused on solely myself. I've been telling you to do that since we was 14, 15, bro. You sleep. <laughs> but it's hard, it's hard though, especially when niggas got responsibilities at young ages and you know they try to help with their family situations mm -hmm. and so forth. It'd be hard to lightweight think for yourself and do for yourself. You might be like, damn, I don't want to come off as selfish or, you know, just think about myself. But at times, you really need to because you might go crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because once you, once you start putting other people before yourself, you'd be like, bruh. <laughs> that was, I used to be putting that was women me. before myself. That shit. Oh, my you God. Go listen, crazy. listen, you listen. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something. Like I told you, like I, I followed you because I seen Shar was reposting what you were saying. I'm like, damn, he he think like me. You saying some crazy stuff. Then I start like reading your tweets and reading how you respond. I'm like, bro, you remind me of my big brother, bro. You were <laughs> you. I'm like, bro, he remind me of my. I could just tell, like, I'm like, bro, he remind me just like my brother, bro. Just like ask him. I be telling him, like, bro, is this nigga on Twitter named Rob? Bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, bro, he talk like, bro, bro y'all just the light, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Like, I be thinking uh, I be coming off like an asshole sometimes. I don't be wanting to. But it's crazy. It'd be hard find, to find people that have the same mindset as you if it's not negative or some bullshit behind it. I, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even say it's hard. I or I wouldn't I maybe like rare or just like you actually you actually just gotta get to know people. Like it's people that think just like us, it's just they was raised different. So how they go about it is a whole different way. Like like we not like we not religious people with it. like we not religious or none of that. But it's people that are religious that Same. that think just like us, you know. But they just like that or whatever. So it's I wild. can't respect I somebody who. Oh my bad, bro. Yeah, I grew up in religion, so it's like that's why I be down and talk to people who are religious. I'll be ready to see how they mindset it. Cause I grew up in it like solely. My mom was married to my stepfather, who was Jehovah Witness. Like ten straight years, we were just solely devoted into that shit. And then when I started, I'm like, man, I ain't with this shit. Like, I can't even be normal and shit. So I started talking to other people. They think the same. They just, they think they can't do other human shit just because of the, the beliefs that they have. Like, they think it's going to punish them for eternity or some weird shit by like, you just being normal. It's so weird. 
Nobody, what? I don't think society wants men, especially to be themselves. We have to act into a certain realm for us to be accepted into certain environments. But if we act like our normal selves, we human, they're going to be like, oh my God, you know, they're such and such or they're too loud. You know, they got too much opinions. You know what I'm saying? But we human. <laughs> It's like, like it's like society got like this this handbook like how to be a man. It's it's not it's not nothing it's not nothing until it's something like it's not. Right, men want to <laughs> teach people how to be men. Women already be trying to tell niggas how to be men, and they. It's not like it's not like to, <laughs> it's not like to be a man. You gotta wear a suit and a tie. It's like until you don't wear a suit and a tie, and like you wearing like jeans, then it's like come on, man, you gotta dress professional, like. It's always making something out of nothing. It's like you. Can't you remember look. when tattoos was unacceptable? Now, oh nowadays people, people look at you crazy for not having a tattoo. I have it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I man, I got. It's four, crazy. Got to that point. I got four tattoos in like less than like two weeks. Like I got my first two tattoos. Shit, like, I got one. That's it. <laughs> I'm like these That's feel. It. I'm like these feel good. I've been judging people all this time for tying their body up, man. I'm about to go crazy, man. Like. Sitting there taking that pain for that long a time, I'm not fucking with. Now, if it's a tattoo that takes like 20, 30 minutes, cool, my nigga. Draw me, whatever. But if it's some hey, fight that's gonna take like, like hours at a time, these two was like do. eight minutes. Like they want no more than eight minutes. Now this, this is probably like fifteen. This is probably like twenty. Like it's hurting, like excruciating pain. Like I was, whew. I, I, I like pain, man. I don't. I don't like me to go get much. these. I, I hopped in the car like, I man, take me home, man. I got my whole, ta- I got my whole chest tatted, and I got <laughs> my whole arms. <laughs> man, y'all niggas, y'all niggas dedicated. That's why y'all dedicated. <laughs> hold on, hold on. But it's I got all this shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I oh, got this all shit. that shit tatted. <laughs> it's numbing cream now, though. I think I'm gonna order something to go uh, and just be going crazy like all oh, right here. I, I either gotta be stupid, dumb, geek, or I have to be passed out to get like I want a whole, I want a leg sleeve and an arm sleeve. I want to be passed out. You're gonna bleed like, like crazy if you jump, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You bleed more when you um intoxicated and shit. Damn. So I I, I, I thought, like when I when I I remember I was drunk getting my uh, chest tatted and I was in like I was bleeding more. I'm like, okay, I ain't I ain't drinking no more. I'm cool. Watching the hangover as a kid, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get dumb drunk and get a face tattoo. <laughs> what was the first time y'all y'all started drinking? I was 20. I was uh it was like a year before I turned 21 and uh it was bad because after I got a taste of vodka and started mixing that shit with uh juice. I was drinking like four times a week. It was terrible. God damn. It was right. terrible. Yeah. No, that's not bad because I know motherfuckers who drink every day. That's I not drank, bad. I drank some yeah. all Masson when I was like five, six years old. Me and my me and my sister, we drank some Paul Masson. It was in, in the living room. Oh, you old as hell. It looked, you old as hell. Every, like my mom had like a party, or whatever. Everybody like did with you. You know, like when you when people like have a party. And then, like, it's some people that spend the night, like somebody on the couch, just somebody on the floor, your mom in her room, somebody on the edge of your bed or something like that. Like, I made a motherfucker sleep on the floor, especially if I got carpet. Me and my me and my sister woke up. We <laughs> grabbed the palm and sign. We going crazy. She throwing up. She throwing up. My mom woke up. What y'all doing? I'm I'm good. I used to go to these mom. OU parties. She would. I used to go to these OU parties, and all the girls are just drinking fucking Tito's. Like, I'm like, man, man, Tito's, nobody was drinking no Hennessy, no Pat Ron, straight Tito's, oh. vodka, and... That's because that some... you, was, you was around them folks, boy. He's around them white folks, man. <laughs> no, everybody was black. Tito's? Yeah. Yes. Sharby, like, she, man, she got some Moscato over here leaving in my room and shit, man. I'm like... I, can... I used to see my parents drink like big ass gallons of Rossi at parties. <laughs> I used to be like, man, hell no. Nah. No, nah, I, I didn't know about what? Ciroc, Henny. Yeah, Ciroc and Henny for real, for real. Was I knew I was going to be just... a smoker at a young age. Not a young age. Like 13, 14, I was like, all right, I might start engaging in smoking. My name start smoking because I was like 16. <laughs> Tell him. <laughs> I stopped smoking. That shit over with. 
Tell her, tell her what happened. What made you bro. stop? What made you stop? Man. <laughs> I used to smoke heavy, like, when I was 16, I used to smoke probably, like, telling you, like, heavy, like, on a daily basis. And then when I was 18, had this different type of weed. <laughs> oh, it, it was over. I was lazy. I was hallucinating. I was in the hospital when I woke up. Yeah, it was yeah, over. Yeah, nigga, you smoking some K2? I don't know, man. <laughs> Dude was off them angels. That's my blood. Man. They said it was a uh, PCP in my shit. Yeah. Oh damn. <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> Who made sure we? Was... Man, I don't know. Blood. It was some nigga from a hood I grew up at. Like, and then I went down there and shit, got them shit. I ain't see that nigga dance, bro. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> he down. He was down there selling that stuff, boy. Man. That nigga want. He knew that you want to smoke with him because he laced you. Some, bro. That shit. All right. I'm gonna ask a real serious question about y'all. So where did y'all, where was y'all born? Where was y'all raised? And who was you was raised by? Who want me going first? Uh, Is we talking about city or the hood? Like city. Both. both, I was talking about city. Yeah. So um, Cleveland. I was. I grew up down the way in Owen on 42nd. Uh, You know the street really called um, 42nd Central Ave, but the the hood is basically Owen. And um, raised by my mother, my you know I I went over to my father's house probably like every weekend, every other weekend, but ninety nine point nine percent of my mother was raising. And um, did you feel the effects of being raised by a single mother? Yeah, I did, having- cause you know, what you mean, like you mean like emotional and stuff like that. Yeah, like how to deal with shit and emotionally, um, discipline wise stuff like that. Yeah, oh shit! <laughs> I ain't know how to deal with emotions because my mother was a uh, bipolar, so she didn't know how to deal with herself emotionally. She did. She never had like a stable relationship. Like after my father, she dated my brother and sister dad, and he was a Jehovah Witness doing dumb shit as well. So she was confused. She didn't know what she wanted to do. So I didn't know how to react towards anything. I was always like either crying or I was punching doors and shit. I didn't know how to handle nothing because there wasn't no man in the house. Telling me, hey, this is how you deal with this. You're gonna be a man one day. I didn't have that. I was just, I just had emotions of reacting with violence and shit. That's why I was so angry growing up. So yeah. Uh, me, I don't know what hospital I was, <laughs> I was born at, but <laughs> I was raised on 30th. I lived down down there until I was 18. Literally, I got kicked out like right after my birthday. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> right at, yeah, my mom kicked me out right after my birthday. What you? Was she just like you 18 now? So you gotta go, or you just did something that led up to her saying that. Man, I did. <laughs> I did some. Somebody else did some. Somebody told her we did some. It was, it was a whole lot that that led up to that though. But yeah, uh, I'm asking you the same question. So, did you, you feel the effects of being raised by um, just your mom in the house? Like you feel the effects of it uh, in the back now? Yeah, like especially people, especially people that that like follow me on social media and they see what I say. Like I, I say that all the time. Like as far as like, like me, how I like, I just like want to make everybody laugh. Like I want everybody to be comfortable because I grew up an uncomfortable person. Like I grew up like being in situations like I don't know how, I don't know if she gonna wake up and be mad. I don't know what's going on. Like niggas to get up and clean the house. And it ain't clean enough. She tweaking out or whatever. So like I'm the type of person, like I want everybody to be comfortable. Like if you if you like look odd or something, I'm gonna go over there and make sure you laugh or whatever. And as far as like tweaking out, yeah. show like like instantly when something don't go my way, I'm tweaking. Like I'm I, I I know I got that from her though. It'd be the little little stuff she's getting mad about. And I'll be looking like, man, she what's she mad about this for? Then I just look now like how I used to get mad at shit. Like, bro, you mad because the piece of burnt? Like, bro, relax. And I be too, like, I be when it gets go crazy on the whole house. So, definitely, boy, definitely. It's crazy because a lot of people that I know, like how y'all had the same experience of growing up with just a single parent house. It's crazy because I'm probably one of the only people I know who I have both of my parents, stay with both of my parents. Both of my parents are married, but I've seen, you know, both things that led up to my parents, you know, emotionally, you know, dealing with each other, you know, their relationship problems and them, you know, taking some of them emotions and taking out on their kids and, you know, how they deal with other people and stuff like that. So I kind of get both sides of it. Like, I'm, 
I, I have certain emotions on my mom. You know, I just blank out, be mad, get in my ways or whatever. I got certain traits on my father, you know, dealing with stuff as a man, you know, not wanting to really deal with shit, but being passive with it, but still also trying to, you know, get shit done. So hey, it, it's hard. And Especially the- you got both, <laughs> both sides of your parents got certain bad traits and you trying to break both of them. But it's like, damn, mm-hmm. like, I can't even be mad at my parents for doing the same certain shit. Cause now I'm starting to get to that point in my life. I'm starting to see like shit is hard. Hey, like, like last, maybe I didn't even say last summer, like probably like around Christmas, me and him was on the phone. He was just talking about his mom. And I'm like, bro, I was like, bro, honestly, we got to think about it. We had a single mother. We don't know what they was going through. Like they could have had men, they could have had a boyfriend that was cheating on them or that was you know, treating them bad and like they just ain't they had won't nobody. Tell to, you. Yeah, they ain't had nobody to take it out on. So like <laughs> one of us came across their face, they just instantly got mad. He like and they I probably just, won't even they probably in their head probably not intentionally doing it. Facts. Cause like but it's just you know I had I had a little I had, funny, I had a little tweet that went viral and I was just saying like I've never seen my mom be loved before for real. So how am I know how to love? And I just, I thought about that. Like, I've never seen my mom be loved before, for real, for real. So, like. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like, the way, when I'm in relationships, the way I be loving women, bro, I be treating them like princesses. I've never seen a dude come home and hold my mom, like, hey, babe, give a kiss. I'm a, I've am ai never seen that shit before. I've never seen that sweet romance shit with my mom. So, that's probably why there's a lot of trauma and, like, I thought abuse was going on and shit, the way she reacted with anger and frustration. Because it wasn't, like. We was badass kids. We was getting whoopings oh. mainly because she was irritated with our presence, really. That's what it mainly was. Weird. Y'all was, like, we, we, doing, y'all was out here doing the most. Man, I was getting <laughs> good grades. I was playing football. She was beating my ass like I was robbing niggas. I or something. swear, man. It, it's yeah, and, of, and that situation, that makes somebody be heartless as hell because I'm doing all the right yeah. shit. Why am I being hey, treated listen, like bro. this? Listen. It made me go to my room every day. We stopped hugging each other. I, I used to go to school, niggas. I'm like... You ain't you ain't see this nigga for like four or five months. <laughs> he had just come to school one day, like, where you was at? Oh, I was locked up. And this nigga got the newest Jordans on. This nigga like got the all the fresh clothes, all his that and third. Like his mom treat him like a like a star. It's always a nigga who's in bad shit. <laughs> <didn't treat> him, <laughs> bro. Mm-hmm. The and crazy. Like, you like, damn, bro. I've never been, bro. I've never been in the back of a police car. I've been pulled over heavy times. Never been in the back of a police car, never been to jail. I only had like a um, what's that shit called? Jaywalking. Only time I went to court for it was a, for a, a fucking jaywalking ticket. So I never been in no type of legal trouble. I say this with my chest out to anybody. Even when I be speeding down the street, driving fast as fuck down Kinsman or Harvard. I tell somebody, listen, my record clean. Hey, I gotta worry about that's, shit. that's that's one thing I can't admit though. Now. When I was younger, if you see, like, you see this picture right here, I just look like mm-hmm. a demon. When I went to Sterling, I was on, man, I used to get arrested. I used to be, the police used to have to bring me home from kindergarten to third grade. I used to be just doing bad stuff after school. Kindergarten? Bro. Yes, bro. Who, kindergarten. who arresting a fire? Bro, listen, bro. No, at fire. Sterling, at the, I, bro, you, I told you, at Sterling, at the end, like, soon as school ended out, bro, we used to be just doing, throwing rocks, throwing rocks, jumping other kids. Like, the police used to have to escort me home, bro. Me and Twerk, bro. I told you that, Okay, they, they, okay, I'm about to say, they escort you home, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, like your, your son broke the window at the daycare down, <laughs> down there. Like, stuff like that. So, like, that's one reason why I left Sterling and went, I went, I left Sterling and I went to Giddings on 79th and, and Cedar. I went there from third grade to sixth grade and got kicked out of there. So that's probably some, I got kicked out of there. Then I went to Benage, which was Carver. It so sounds like y'all have an issue with authority. For sure. Not me, not him, I do though. It's crazy. Well, see, I, only, I, only thing I had was like traffic court like maybe twice and I had to pay fines for this shit. I mean, I almost got into some shit because my family used to always be fighting. I used to always like fight with them when we were teenagers. I almost got charged with a felony for rioting, but I wasn't fighting. I was standing there when they was fighting. So it's like, I guess being around that crowd, you still, I guess, affiliated, but I didn't get charged. They dropped mm-hmm. shit. So that's when I started thinking to myself like, nigga, 
you know they say birds country. of a feather flock together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For like sure. I'm thinking to myself, For like sure. nigga, you not a you not a game banger. You not none of that shit. Like stop being around these people. So yeah, that shit was over with. You know what's Man. crazy for me? I I've grown up in the hood. My father, he used to be like a, a drug dealer in his community. Blah 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 blah. So he as he starting to have kids, you know, he left that he left that shit alone. So. He always told me and my siblings, hey, that's not the life you want to live. Don't go that route. You know, stay in school, do what you need to do, make it out, take care of yourself. So I used to be like, I see niggas, you know, in the hood doing whatever. I want to be a part of it. Niggas want to be accepted. So I had to, early on, I had to be like, damn, this is not the life that that's for me. I can't be around this shit. I can't be continuously to be around these people knowing that I want to be around them, but it's not good for me. It's not the type of shit I want to be into. Like, like you, Remy, I'm a, I'm a nigga that want to make people laugh, want to have fun, get into some good shit, you know, stay out the way type shit. So it, it was hard from like age 13 to 16, 17. You see all the people that you grew up with, you know, they into certain things and knowing that you not, you don't want to be a part of it, but it's like, damn, I want to be included with people. I want to be included with niggas. So you kind of right way be to yourself type shit. You start build some type of resentment Hell yeah. towards people in a way what's so crazy about that i never i never wanted to like i never i never wanted to do that like i never wanted to be doing that like i don't i don't know why i just never did like everybody like after school go home play the game and it's like people like people actually accept that's one thing i appreciate people accepted that for me like niggas actually accepted all right he ain't into that he don't want to do that they but, but they still walk up to me like hey bro it's you know this this the, this this what we do bro we this we that you know yeah and you know everybody want to sit next to me in class copy off my paper and make them laugh but nobody nobody yeah you know like at the end of school nobody like hey come on you about to go do this you about to go you about to go jump or hey man like nobody really i, I never got peer pressure into doing none of that like they accepted like all right this who he is that's it like i never got peer pressure i never i don't know i just i just like all right Nigga, stupid. <laughs> yeah, that, that's how it was for me, bro. I only football is what kept me out of the shit. Like football was life for me growing up, and they knew that the niggas I grew up with that was into that shit, they knew I was just a football nigga. So like, the only time they really talked to me is if it was gym time or they wanted me on a team. But mainly, they never came up to me like they probably asked me once, but then after they seen I was really serious about football, they like, nah, we ain't gonna, nah, he a football nigga, he ain't, he ain't with this type of shit. That I. I I just never can understand how niggas can just be fight killing each other over a street sign that none of our families own. It doesn't make no. We sense. we we t- wait. We need talking about that. No, we talking about like young, like when you when like what was what was they doing? Oh, y'all just, yeah, I mean, oh, no, I no, but, that, was, but what he's saying do play into that though. What he yeah, like does was, play when, into when I was many, younger, they was fighting over that shit. Like when how I many was, like, real killers were, we know especially though? Especially from like, like oh nine to like twenty twelve, niggas was really. Yeah, niggas over was three bang, time, yeah, bro. niggas was banging, bro. When I was a kid, we used to be, they used to be in the bathroom fighting over that shit, like fighting I, over the street time. That's I, when I, fighting I, was cool. That's when niggas was. Yeah, that's when it was just fight. fighting, just straight boxing. Niggas was fighting over that shit. I'm talking, I'm talking about the, the, you know, like, bro, niggas ain't. I don't, I don't believe none of these. Niggas. That, that, that getting the gun <laughs> shit ain't start. That getting the gun shit ain't start till like we was teenagers, like 10th, 11th grade for real, for real. Like, man, that getting the gun shit ain't start till Chief Keith and them. Well, listen, <laughs> exactly. no, for sure. No, exactly. For sure. That listen, definitely bro. didn't start till niggas started getting dreams. Listen, bro, Chief, Chief, Chief Keith came Chief out. Chief Keith came out when I was in it, when we was in the ninth grade, bro. That's when Chief Keith started popping. We was in the ninth grade. I remember sitting in class, bro. I, you, ain't, you weren't even there yet. It's probably, it's probably like the first week. And whoever I was next to was just listening to Chief Keith. And I'm like, he just, I'm like, who the fuck is that? Like, this Keith. You don't know about man, Keith? Man. I'm looking Back at him the like. Day, I was begging that shit every man, day. Bro, every at any, bro day. I ain't I ain't listened to one Chief Keith song until I got into like the 11th grade. I'm like, yo, this nigga's horrible. Like, I don't even I listen. Don't to I still don't know his song. Bro, listen. <laughs> listen. I can't, I can't agree with you with that one, Remy. Listen. I ain't gonna lie. His early shit, he first got noticed. That's something his fine I, fine, bro. Finally, Back from the came dead. Out when we was in the ninth grade, yeah, bro. Listen, I heard Young Pappy before I heard Chief. I, bro, I was not. I'm gonna tell you why I wasn't listening to Chief. Keith, I respect bro. Young Pappy, so I, I get it. I, get I wasn't it. listening to Chief Keith from the fact that I literally watched everybody go from having buzz cuts, regular haircuts, to having dreads. To yeah. dreads. 
bro, I always, was getting dressed like bro, this. I, bro, I always been, I always been the one to like peep everything out of like I'm literally watching like all right, ninth grade, he growing his fro out. Like, what is he doing? And next thing you know, he just in school twisting his head. I'm like, what's going on? GQ, like they just bang. I'm like, I can't, bro. I can't. I never ever yeah, that's, I, I ain't gonna I lie hated when I was younger, bro. Yeah, me too. I did too, cause in eighth grade, it was none of that shit. Ninth grade started, people started getting guns, niggas started getting dreads. And I started thinking to myself, like, bro, is this what this niggas role models? Like niggas that's telling you to yes, go do bro. negative shit. That's weird as fuck. I, I didn't know. It's seen as that, somebody right? else. And that was and that was and the crazy part about it is that was the life he was living. So it wasn't like he was staying. And, and yeah. Living. So you it, it's not like it's not like he got so that make it worse. Yeah, it's not like he got on her and said, "Hey, y'all niggas, go get a gun and shoot a nigga." That's that. He was. What I like about music is they 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 reflect their reality. Like that was his reality. So it's not like he wasn't like getting on there and telling niggas like, "Hey, bro, y'all need." He was really reflecting what he was going through. So I can respect that from still the artist. Still glorifying it. it in a, he was but still yeah, it's just, it just way. it just goes to show how lost niggas from our community is. They let that shit impact their way of living and move how they. Move. That's weird as fuck. That's talk that load, talk that loaded luck shit. Just some, these niggas was lost, bro. I they swear, were, bro. Man. He, bro. I'm like, damn, niggas don't listen to Lil Wayne no more. <laughs> <laughs> I tell niggas to this day, bro. Lil Wayne is top five, dead or alive, bro. Oh, bro, bro. God. that's been matter. my favorite rapper since I was in kindergarten. That's a, that's another reason why me and him got close, bro. Bro, Lil Wayne was our favorite rapper, bro. Little Wayne, I'm like, bro, right. nobody better than Little. My mama Wayne, got me here to Wayne songs before he started cussing, after he started cussing, the auto tune, the lean, all those faces nigga, of Wayne. The rock top album, five, nigga. Dead or <laughs> hey, if you want to talk to somebody about Little Wayne, you gotta talk to him, man. He put me oh, on God. to some Wayne I never heard. I, bro, I listened to his rock albums, the drought mixtapes, all that. Oh, oh my God. Bro, that, re, that rebirth shit is probably one of the hardest albums. That's, of that's my favorite heart. album. And he just that's told me that album. like two days ago. Like, bro, you got to listen bro, to Rebirth. Wayne bro, Wayne put his feelings in that rock album, bro. Wayne put his actual feelings in that rock album, bro. You have to listen. He got niggas really wanted to do rock. For real. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> I started like, for real. Again, that and Lincoln Park because really of that nigga, me, Because when I first got hit the Lincoln Park, it was like in the eighth grade. I, know, I was like, like these white right. boys speaking that shit. Hey, I was right. supposed I was supposed to go there because uh, I was in this uh this uh what's that program called when you smart whatever that shit called. I forgot uh, what that shit was called. Honors class, nigga. I'm about to say the same thing. It's, it's something <laughs> like that. It's like in sixth grade they sent you to this school. Seventh grade they sent you to this school. Eighth grade they sent you to uh this school. Shit like that. It was something like that. I was supposed to, I was supposed to go there or Whitney Young for eighth grade. Uh, cause I, you know, I was in the honors, whatever. But... You would be around them badass kids that went to young. Mm-hmm. But but when I was when I was in eighth grade though, it, they were sending all the smart people there and shit. Like six as in the sixth grade, you get your report card and they say like, all right, you were going to this school type shit like that. Whatever. I was supposed to go there, but my mom was on some fuck shit. So <laughs> <laughs> y'all ever think about going to college while y'all was in high school? Was college on y'all mind? Let's see. It was on mine because I was an athlete and then I uh I went to study music and shit. It just be an artist, period. So I knew that Cleveland didn't really have the performance when it came to acting and then different styles of music. They just had like just normal community shit. So I knew I had to branch out and do something. If I had if it was like workshops, I would have stayed, but I wanted to do something different and wanted to travel. So I was thinking about it since I was a little kid. Until I met this nigga, he started making me think differently about school. But <laughs> I, I still graduated college. But me and this nigga, it, it, it nothing wrong with it. Really nothing wrong with though. You put the time, the work in. So nothing yeah. wrong with it though. What I do, bro? <laughs> like after after I graduated, that nigga like you gotta pay loans back. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Once I hit like seventh, eighth grade, I'm like, bro. Once I get out of school, I'm not doing this shit, bro. This is a scam, bro. bro. I, hey, listen. I was like top three in my you class, at a, bro. At a young age, like that, though. Listen, I was like, I'm. I always was top three in my class, but I was always the one that would tell people like, bro, this don't mean nothing. <laughs> like I be, <laughs> I be done with my work. The whole class still doing their work, and I'd be like, bro, it don't matter, bro. This shit trash. They would have called you a problem child. I was, bro. Hey, hey. I, used to, I used to get kicked out all the time. Like, bro, you done and you messing with them? Go to in school. 
Like for what? I'm sitting here telling it like, bruh. I used to, I'd be like, bruh, this is the answer to the problem. But if you do it this way, you will get the same answer. So teacher would be like, that's not the right way. I'd be like, but it's still the right answer. I hate that shit. I Why do I have to make it your way bro. to have the right answer? What if we get the right answers, but we took different ways? That's and then that's I just start telling I just start telling like, bro, we might as well just start working jobs for the rest of our life and making money. Cause this school shit fake for real. They just be making. They just seem like they making this up as they go, bro. School that's don't honestly, tell you how to be your own boss, work for yourself, bro. build your own entity. They just tell you, hey, work for this, that company, healthcare. Hey, look, shit, restaurants, whatever. Tell them about. Tell them about what happened when you went to Max Hayes, bro. About uh, they took all the little programs out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So <clears throat> when I was there in ninth grade, before funny. I transferred, before I transferred back to Tech, uh, Max Hayes had these uh, what is it called? The programs is called uh, trades. They had these yeah, trades yeah. where you uh, where you um, can qualify for jobs after school. So they had the automotive trade, like they teach you like auto mechanic, where you learn how to be a mechanic, and they teach you uh, welding too. They had welding classes in there. So I'm like, okay. If you do this, you ain't even gotta go to college. Like they can just get qualified with this after they graduate high school and go to a business. But they took that shit out because they they knew that college was a business and they want to <laughs> make so that that college make that money that that's sixty k a, a a year for a student. So that's why they took it out. So it's kids crazy. Pay for that Back shit. in the sixties and the seventies, like welding jobs, carpenting jobs, um, plumbing jobs, mines, coal mines. You can go straight out of high school and support your family, make thousands, X amount, thousands a year, be great. Nowadays, like you said, how school is really a scam. They want you to go in college and be in from 50K to 100K in debt, you know, be a part of society. Once you're born to this shit, you're born to America's debt. That's what a lot of people mm -hmm. really don't know or understand or shit, sometimes comprehend for real. We talk. We talk mm -hmm. about. We used to talk about this when we was nineteen. Like when you, yeah, like, when, you when you fifteen. I 16, definitely wish I would have learned this or comprehended this when I was in school because I used to hate school. Had good grades and everything, but you'd be like, "Why well, don't I have to be in this shit for eight or nine hours a day exactly. on Friday? Look, this is a job." They only and then like when you when you can get a job at fifteen, sixteen, you only allowed to work a certain amount of hours, like mm -hmm. child labor, <laughs> like. So child labor laws because the industrial revolution. So I get so to mm -hmm. I get to be at school for 40 hours a week, but I can't be at this job for 40 hours. 25, 30 hours a week. Act without making money. Bro, if if we was able to start, let's say we work at McDonald's at starting 15 years old and we gain about 32 hours a week. What's you get paid every two weeks at 64? Let's see, you get probably eight it's about at least hours. 600 something in Cleveland. That's about 600 something. Every two weeks. Now imagine if you had a job from 15 and you were saving about maybe $50, $50, 50 $75 each check from 15 all the way till 18. You probably, you, you know, you got to pay for prime and all that. But just imagine how much money you could have from 15 to 18 if you in school and working at McDonald's, bro. Just imagine it's, how much it's money 52 you have. weeks in a year. And if you take and if you taking off summer break so we can get extra hours as a as a in a job. You oh my god! <laughs> you probably gonna be at a that's pay another whole thing they don't want you. To, that's another thing they don't. You can pay your whole college tuition like that. You can start I a business always, with that. I always my parents too, because my parents always told me to focus on school. We got you everything else, but it's like damn, I want to make my own money, have my own independence. So exactly. if that time comes, I ain't gotta rely on y'all. So it's oh. just like damn, I'm 18 now. I gotta make some money now. I gotta get a job. It's like damn, I could have been set up with this part of my life two three years prior than just focusing all my time on school like it's a fucking job when by it's the, stressing motherfuckers out by the time you were 17 you could have had a car by the time you was 18 and prom bro you could have probably had your own apartment <laughs> and then you still you could go to prom what'd you say yeah he, did y'all yeah. ever go to prom I, I did i ain't go no i went to two prom. i didn't either damn man why you ain't go to prom? Yeah, I mean. um I had like two days that wanted to go with me too. That's crazy. But I, I feel like at the moment, I'm not about to spend hundreds, of, I'm not even hundreds, but like thousands of dollars trying to keep up and try to look good like some like the other niggas hey. and women that was going to prom and just to go there and not do shit, but just take pictures and talk. I'm glad. I'm glad. Ain't nobody dancing at prom. I'm glad you went that way, Brett. 
because this was some I was just talking to somebody about about the YouTube covers and all that, bro. Like they changed, like like, but prom wasn't even crazy until like it was like the year before out the year before we were 2016. We were supposed to go to prom. It's like show out time. Everybody want to mm-hmm. do this, that, and the third. And I remember like. The whole, like, my prom going, I wasn't going to prom. I didn't care about prom. I got a girlfriend, and everybody, like, bro, go to prom, you know? I'm like, all right, I'll go. It's really for the female. It's like, it's like weddings. Weddings aren't yeah, for women. Say that. They're just like for me. Listen, yeah. all yeah. the girls in my class was telling me, like, take her to prom, take her to prom. I'm like, okay, we're going to go to prom. But you got to ask her a certain way. You got to hold up a sign. You got to, I'm like, <laughs> I'm not doing that, bro. I just sent her a text, like, hey. You going to prom with me? She was like, "Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's it, bro." And then it was like, "But like you not you wasn't proposing, y'all oh, fucking chill." I fuck with you when you did that, bro. My shoes, <laughs> my shoes was the most expensive thing I had on. My shoes was like one fifty. I got I got the little the uh, the pants from like Burlington. Got the white the uh, thing, and I won prom point. Print king. I'm Niggas broke. be spending thousands of dollars. Yeah, that's over, prom, bro. bro Niggas mom, I have thousand dollar shoes. The car be like a couple of bands. The suit they have on be like a couple of bands. The watch would be a couple of hundred. You be like, for prom, bro, you're in high school. My mom probably spent like 400 That's yeah. tuition. Yeah. $400. That's it. Just $400 on prom? Yeah, because my like my shoes. That, no, that's not a lot. That's my that's not a lot at all. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Yeah, that's was, no, that's great. Niggas, yeah, my, niggas are spending yeah. ten thousand on prom. My shoes, yeah, my shoes. Uh, we went to Bur- that's amazing. Bur- Bur- Burlington and Marshall was to get like all the you know. I had like this glittery Michael Jackson thing. My, my my hair was probably the second most expensive thing. That was it. I Man, I got bro. My my uncle drove like we had a regular car. Like my uncle, we went to go pick her up and drove there. Like we ain't doing that. I ain't even with that. Oh, uh, if you don't got the expensive car for the rollout, they definitely don't want to fuck with you. I'm That's so weird, bro. It, it, you really gotta, you really gotta look the best just for somebody to accept you. Like that's so weird, bro. You man, wrong. It, it it's crazy. That's 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 society. You either really gotta look the part, and people want to be around. If you don't look the part, that people don't want to support it, it's, or they're not. Bro, I'm be a fucking you. bro. I'm a fucking actor, and it sounds like you being an actor for a scene. You gotta look the part to be the part. That's yeah. exactly and what the fuck it sounds like. It sounds like I'm trying to play a role instead of actually being a fucking person. It sounds so weird. Yeah. I, don't, I don't get it. Hey, if you don't I, have I, on no I, Dior or no Gucci on for prom, then nobody gonna say your fit fire. I can throw on a, a Burlington Co, Co- Factory long sleeve button down white shirt, a whole white suit for the cheap and make it look yeah. good. Nah, they ain't got that label on there. And I think mm-hmm. labels really became became like the demise of our community too, for real. Yeah, slave mindsets. So who? What, yeah. what, what y'all think? What y'all think brought that brought that upon? I think the drug dealers. You know, uh, but, but where did the drug dealers get it from? They, j- drug dealers. I, I say rappers. Yeah. No, thank no, you. No, thank rappers you. imitate drug dealers. I mean, that's true. Yeah. Uh, Listen, I think this they they play a part within each other. Listen, I'm a, I'm drug dealers want to want to live the listen, rapper lifestyle. I'm, I'm gonna break it down to you. When you watch when you watch the movies, all the drug dealers they got the little fancy coats on. They got all the bitches. They got the they got the nice cars. And you see that little kid and he just watching them. He watching them like okay, this who get the bitches. The niggas with the money, the drug dealers. Then he start rapping about this shit and he ain't really yeah. living like that. Like I yeah like cause like. I don't know what's up with black people like us, but like we just this is why this why niggas need to listen to my nigga Joiner Lucas. This is why, my nigga. <laughs> that boy fire. I'm, I ain't this gonna lie. That boy fire. I don't know what's oh. up with us, but like it's like when we get money or something, we want to show it. So it's like when when the drug dealers like once they start getting money, whatever they want to buy all these coats, buy, buy all these fur coats, and do all this shit. Like why are you doing that? And then so that's where I feel like the name brand come from. Even uh. Even John Gotti, like, remember he used to come out, he used to come out in the public and wear all them crazy suits. He had all these nicknames. Like, he want, he wanted to be seen, too. Like, he wanted, he, every time he step out, he got a new crazy suit. Uh, Blue Matt, uh, the Frank Lucas, all all these famous drug dealers, you look at their pictures, they got the rope chains on, all this down the third. I never seen Jay-Z in no designer shit that's not rock aware. Ever. I don't is. see Kanye West rock nothing. It's not easy. No, no, you, you can't say that. Brand. 
No, no, <clears throat> bro. Because remember when Kanye came out, he was rapping about. Uh, he was rapping about. Uh, what was he rapping about? Always wearing. Because Drake got a song saying it like when Kanye came out. But what was what was Kanye wearing? Remember he's he's wearing a book bag and something else he used to be wearing, bro. I know what you I I know what you mean. Is it Concord? Yeah. No, it ain't. It ain't Concord. Hmm. Kanye West really a top ten artist of all time too, for real. Yeah. I think people really don't because of what he said, because of what he says and his demeanor, his delivery. I think people don't really take him seriously because as they people, used to. Because people not smart enough to understand, he can't say what he really wants to say. So he's, why not? Why he can't say what he want to say? Yeah, why not? Because he gonna end up like ODB, Pimp C, Whitney Houston, all of them. When it, Pimp C died from lean, though. Okay, bro. If you think that, <laughs> listen, Here we you go, think it's... Bro. Don't, don't start another topic, <laughs> my nigga. <laughs> oh, bro. Listen, bro. I'm gonna just tell you, bro. If you think Pimp C died from drinking lean, look up. I where, mean, promethazine. That that shit can't bro, kill you. Look up where he was at, bro, and look up. He just got out of jail. <laughs> he was on probation. He's not gonna be drinking lean, bro. Look up where he died Man, at. You don't know that. Look up where he died at, and that'll tell you everything. Where you think? Just know, uh, just know when we blow up, we gonna get canceled for your words right here. Nigga. You already know that though. You knew this, bro. You knew this from the cancel day. culture. That shit yeah. real, man. Where, where? Listen, where you think Pimp C died at? You think he died down south? I was in a car like one day, chilling in the car. I heard on the news that he passed away. Pimp I C think it died. was a hotel. Pimp C died in the hotel where every where every other famous person died at. And if you read it, they say he was on his knees where candles was at over the thing. He died just how Mac Miller died, bro. Look it up. Damn, all right, Peter Mac Miller. He died because of a bitch. I'm going to be canceled because of that, too. But damn, Ariana Grande. Hey, I, I ain't going to get no acting job fucking with y'all niggas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no, ain't no film or TV company gonna hire my ass, man. <laughs> oh, you good, bro? We, we good. He, he, a woman made me piss about that situation. W- fucking with Mac Miller, she made a whole soft talking about some. She dissed Pete Davidson. Uh, we talking about Mac. So you, I went you, to like a whole. You think you think he you think he <laughs> you think he uh, died from a drug overdose? Who, Pimp C? No, Mac Miller. Mac Miller. Yeah. That could have been the case. I may be wrong, but I mean, they, these niggas are doing drugs, heavy drugs at like that. Man, y'all, you think, hey, when you I think sending, drugs play to the part of the When I be sending y'all demise? these videos, like, bro, watch this. I don't be just, y'all got to watch these videos I be trying to send y'all, man. It should be real, bro. I'm not, I'm not saying it, it's not real, but the yeah, Matt Miller could have died off, off of an overdose. Pimp C as well. These niggas. Heavily influenced on the drug part of the culture, so I don't think other than some fishy shit behind the scenes, like you talking about. If Pimp C, not, like, like, I'm, I had to grab this. Pimp C was also the first one that was talking about Atlanta ain't part of the South. They gay. He was the first one exposing all the gay he stuff. He was saying that, was that shit up. in the nineties. He was he was the first one to really be exposing all these niggas. He just so happened to die a little later, but. Uh, it's, hey, it's also it's also an interview where he right next to uh Bun B and he exposing the gay stuff and Bun B looking stupid like he don't want to say nothing. Oh, he, I, I'm, I'm nigga, is that a is that about. a? I'm cutting you all off, bro. Is that an Itachi Uchiha case you got on your phone? Yeah, the illusion. Yeah, you know, nigga, you don't even hey, watch hard. Naruto, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That's, that's you might hate me man. for this. You might hate me for this. Bleach is so much better than Naruto, bro. Naruto is not that hard. <laughs> it's not. I'm sorry. <laughs> he turned it. I don't know nothing about that. I'm sorry, man. Naruto is too complicated to get into. Oh. Too many niggas. Too many characters to, to try to keep up. Now I they can't... got a spinoff with him and his son. This shit. That spinoff track. Y'all compare that spinoff to Naruto, bro. That's trash. That's still Naruto, though. No, it's not. It's Boruto. That's his son show. They ain't got nothing to do with Naruto, man. I, don't know, man. <laughs> I just seen. Man, I thought this. I thought, like, this, I thought this friendship was gonna be good. 
I'm dead. I'm sorry. No, man. I ain't even. Not, I ain't even start, I mean, I ain't even start trying to get into Naruto. I'm, I'm watching the whole like the first five episodes of season one of Naruto. I'm like, I can't get into this shit. Dude, you I love Dragon Ball Z. Season? It's certain point. It's certain episodes of Dragon Ball Z that I just can't get into. I love well, you, Dragon see, Ball Z. Dragon Ball good, but it's not even considered a big three no more. Nah, because they it was super. They don't have a like. It's pointless stories now. It's just all gods now. It's, it's kind of pointless now. Y'all just watch it. Anime. I don't know nothing about no anime. Nah, please. He, he just, he, he just disrespected Naruto. That's all we had. All I know is this. I just started watching Full Metal Alchemist. That shit hard. I heard that was hard. Yeah, RDC was saying that was hard. I'm about to start watching that. Yeah, bro, you gotta get into anime. I can't. Oh, yeah, bro. bro. I, I I like Soul Eater and uh, I watched Naruto. I, I watched like the first seven episodes of Naruto. I'm like, this fire. I gotta be like. Dude, anime is real life, bro. Literally, it I, is. I, 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 I told you, I, I told you that. Though. I'm like, bro, like they got real emotions, you know. But like, I gotta be in a certain type mood to watch anime. Like, I don't know. Yeah, not really. You could be on some chill shit. Nigga, no, anime bro. will put. Nigga, you won't even be in no mood when you turn on anime. It'll put you in the mood. That's how powerful it, anime is. It really bro, you, will. You know it me, really bro. Will. If I'm in a mood, bro, I want to watch battle rap, bro. I don't want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to watch, like, I want to, if I don't... Niggas get real disrespectful on battle rap. Like, very disrespectful. I, I couldn't be a battle rapper, but they too damn disrespectful, man. I could be a battle rapper. Yeah, but... like, somebody would get slapped. Yeah, yeah, it, it'd be six. <laughs> somebody would have to get slapped. Man, bat, I, I like battle rap more than music, bro, like... Well, because mainly music, now a lot of rappers don't rap no more. Battle rap really try to stick to a topic and kill you, literally, yes, with bro. metaphors and words and, that, and situations. I tell people all right. the time, like people be like, "Oh, Drake, Drake did." I'll be like, "Yeah, all right." <laughs> I mean, he is. I ain't gonna lie, that nigga Aubrey, that nigga Aubrey, like 12, 13 years in the game, strong. Right. Yeah, but I be like, he's a you, dog. You think that's cute, bro? But like, it's, it's niggas that be writing four minute rounds for somebody and don't know nothing but they name and they write. Yeah, Wayne, Wayne said that. Wayne said he think battle rap is top tier. He said that's something I don't do. I can't talk about what you got on for a whole hour. It's, Bro, it's yeah, he said that. Yeah, rap, bro. bro, you got and Wayne you. is a god in hip hop, bro. He said he he said I, I don't do the battle rap shit, man. It's Could y'all crazy. date a female rapper? A woman I mean, with words. That's, I, that's I love hard. music, so I don't know, man. I mean, I think I would. I don't know. No, a, <laughs> a woman who know how to use her words. That that'd be crazy. Not a rapper, sure. but like a I don't know. Not a rapper. As far as rapper, no. I'm cool. A singer, yeah. No. Nope. Well, well, you couldn't um, date, he couldn't get like a name. million other niggas that they can easily just you make a mad boom. They can call another another. I don't. Rapper I, don't I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't even care about that. Like I, I'm just. I'm not into that, bro. Like do something regular. Like <laughs> do something regular, bro. Like, Nigga, you know me for ten years, and I'm doing. Acting the music, I'm not right. regular. What are you talking about? You and my brother, we talk about my like what that mean though. other like girls I, gonna use that. Girls gonna be like, but ain't your brother uh doing? Oh well, they gonna, like, they, they gonna definitely hit you with that though. They gonna definitely yeah. hit you like yo, but your brother rapping though. <laughs> it's it's so many it's so many type of women I won't deal with. <laughs> like let's get to it then. Like, yeah, like. I don't know. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not dealing with like. Let's see, what what type of girls I don't like. I won't deal with a woman who expects me to take care of her entire life. Oh God, talk that shit. <laughs> I can't. I don't, I don't. I won't deal with somebody who I tell something to, and they like try to ask me why or why not. It's like, bro, I just said that. <laughs> like, listen, I was just. God forgive me. <laughs> I was just with this white girl the first. This the first time I ever chilled. Ah, oh, nigga, no. <laughs> yeah, leave I got him, to leave him alone, please. <laughs> this the first time. Listen, so she, she, you know, she pull up, she come get me, whatever. As soon as I get in the car, I instantly get uncomfortable, like, cause I didn't know she was white, white. I thought she was like, you know, so like I get in the car, she full blown white. I'm like, oh, she my playing God. uh, country music. No, she. She listen to everything. I get in the car. She playing. She like, you like right away. I'm like, all right, cool. We just talking, and I'm just like, bro, I'm so uncomfortable. Like, 
she just making. I'd rather a white girl listen to Chris Daughtery around me than turn off a <laughs> fucking ride away. So Don't she be out of your element, bitch. Just, <laughs> keep it, keep it in your culture. Like, she tell me like, you need to calm down. <laughs> you so aggressive. I'm like, what? what? I'm like, bro, I'm just sitting here talking to you calm as ever. She's like, I know, but how you come off is, and I'm like, drop me back off, man. <laughs> like, drop me back <laughs> off. Like, I just, I don't know. Like, I just hate weird, like, I just hate weird shit, bro. I feel like that'd be weird. Like, you ever be just That's like, you, you chilling mean, with right? somebody? You chilling with somebody? No, all right, how about this? I hate women. I don't, I won't deal with a woman that jump to assumptions. Ask me a question. I will give you whatever. Bro, you that's all of them. I'm sorry. So, I mean, that kind of it, bro. It's so easy to say, hey, um, do, 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 do. oh, no, but okay, simple. You can dodge a lot of arguments if they didn't just jump to a conclusion all the fucking time. But I'm a, so, communi- I'm a communicator, yeah. though. Like, I tell this, all, like, I, like, I tell women this all the time, like, bro, stop doing that, bro. Just ask me. I'm going to tell you. I'm, I'm the most blunt, blend person ever. I'm going to tell you, bro. You got, like, if I got an attitude, I'm like, oh, yeah, I definitely don't like how you just, you just made me feel some type of way, blah, 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 blah. I don't like that. Like, I'm not about to be having no attitude. Like, no, like, I just hate that. You would never run into a woman who won't assume. I don't ever. know. I, I know some, I don't know. No, no, ever, listen, bro. I'm not gonna think with you. Listen, bro. They're they're all going to assume I, something I, about. I, you. Hey, I don't know why, bro, but I will be coming in contact with different from what y'all, what from what everybody else be experiencing, bro. I don't like. Bruh. I don't know. What I, don't, I don't see how he find the women that he do, bro. I'm probably <laughs> I'm probably as romantic as Prince Charming on Cinderella. Oh, nigga, man, I not man, find listen, the women that he I find. My girl, bro. my love, my baby. All <laughs> yes, this shit probably be the most romantic I, I, nigga. <laughs> this nigga, nigga gives him I, so easy, and he the yeah, most honest nigga on the <laughs> earth. You like the I'm fuck? telling you, like I don't, I don't like when y'all be telling. Like I be hearing stories, I be like, bro, she said what? But women like that. That they don't like niggas who romantic with them. They like niggas yeah, they who don't. don't just ignore them. <laughs> they don't. They <laughs> and don't. You they figure don't like that what? out. <laughs> they don't like they don't like romantic niggas. They don't like that shit. They don't. It's weird. Hey, I they mean, don't like I, they don't like niggas who hold the door open for them. No. They want niggas that's gonna shut them in. Oh, he. He aggressive. I'm a, oh, they want a nigga to be like, they want a nigga to be like, you ain't coming. Hold on, bitch, come here. They move that type. <laughs> they do though. I, I they that. do. I mean, they like being controlled. We don't like being controlled as much as they. Bro, don't, they what not I, I just told, I told him, I'm like, bro, the reason why I don't get in situations that I don't want to be in, because I'm going to tell you what I am doing, and what I'm not doing. If you're not with it, then we're going to stop communicating. Period. If I tell you, I if I tell you I don't eat pork and you eat pork, you you gonna stop eating pork when you come around me or before you come around me. That's uh it. that's that's a little bit selfish though. It's it's not, bro. I don't eat pork. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. In the relationship, you gotta compromise though. Like, all right, she, no, she gotta example. respect you. She gotta respect you for not eating pork, but you gotta respect her. But all right, just because I'm not eating it. Don't mean I am. I'm about to stop you from eating pork type. No, shit. you can eat it. Just don't eat it around me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, you know, I see what he's saying. I dated a girl that, you know, that that when I'm doing something that I like or like playing a game, for instance, they get mad as fuck when we playing our game, just chilling and vibing. You, no, no. Then when you, I come around, use your shirt. When you, I use having your shirt off. That's that's a that's an example. <laughs> This nigga about to make make it make it personal, man. <laughs> that's, the, that's the perfect example for this, bro. Bro, I've been bro, I've been I've been walking around with my shirt off since I was like four years old, my nigga. Like that's something boys do in the hood. Like they play football, they go outside with their shirt off. Half of the time when I go outside in the summer, the shirt not even on. So I normally post like a picture like from working out, good morning, this and shit, and a girl would be like. Why he posting a picture of your shirt off? But before we was together, I've been taking my shirt off. When we was just friends and hitting each other up, I've been taking my shirt off. You was under my pictures with hard eyes when my shirt was off. So if that's a problem, why would you even date me in the first place? Because they know that can that can attract somebody else. And look, and, and that's and, what I'm not dealing with. This is and, and it's weird because they the ones that say, don't worry about what nigga wants your girl. That's insecurity, right? I, that's insecure. See, that's they, they tell us don't worry about another nigga, but if you just said that attracts other people and they thinking that, then why are they worried about other women? Then they tell us not to worry about other niggas. 
you 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 know what society just tried tricked us into thinking being friendly is bad like yeah, how bro. Is being friend, like bro like I'm, bro, it really I'm, made me think that having a um not even just not, people they make it yeah. seem like men being friendly is the worst thing on this earth and yeah. that's why i only been in one relationship because you're not going to tell me i can't a, a girl can't reply lol you funny and i can't say nothing back to her and then the conversation can keep going and we can't become friends after that perfect I, example i realize I, I re- man go ahead i mean like with shario i i tell shario it's like i would never remind you having men friends like i i'm not that type of dude that's like no you can't conversate with no nigga you can't be friends with niggas right now it's it's plenty of people you have met before knowing me you have certain friendships like i'm not about to stop I got fifty years to fight you. Respect it. I mean, it's going to be boundaries. There's going to be no disrespect. But I'm not, I can't just be on some. Okay, you're the only woman I'm dating, and I can't have no interaction with no other woman. But not even on no trust, sexual bro. level, no other shit. Just just yeah. conversation. Bro, I told I try to tell this to my first girlfriend all the time. She's like, "Girls want you. They think you funny. Oh, mm, your smile. They think you funny. They gonna try to flirt with you. You trust me? Yeah. All right then. Just trust me. It's not gonna get there. No. What? So you, obviously you don't trust me, or you just insecure. Yeah. They can. You shouldn't be dating. I'm not doing that, bro. Because I'm 22. I've been going through that forever. So I'm just like, I'm cool, bro. I'm cool. You're not about to. Because niggas me. got insecurities too, though. Because it's I know I know a lot of dudes who. Do the same thing to their girls. Like, no, nah, you can't be wearing this. You can't be wearing them. I'm a, but next listen, I'm gonna tell nah, you, I, I can't I'm, do that. I'm gonna tell you, they they actually right because it's a, it's the nigga like me. <laughs> that's, oh, <laughs> that's being friends. Like, he knows about nigga, that's bro. that's being friends with your girl, and then <laughs> the mo- yeah, I'm, they not wrong, bro. They not wrong, bro. It's always it's always me that he just made me mad. He that's said pro- always. <laughs> it's always see, look, me. It's always. That's the me. problem, though. Like if they have to do all that, then they should break up with her instantly if they feel that's in their gut. Because if you think that. Oh no! If you were that, a nigga gonna talk to you. If they feel like they girl gonna just it's temptation and, every fucking listen, day, man. Listen, I just every went, single day. I just went through some Thursday last Thursday. I'm taking a nap, bro. I'm asleep. Some my a girl I used to mess with call me. No, she texts me like, "Hey, what you doing?" I text her back. She ain't text me back. I'm like, "All right, cool." Then she called me twice, so I text her like, "Just text me. I don't want to." Her dude texts me like, "I, I, you, what y'all seen it?" Her I dude, see that shit on the <laughs> Her dude, her dude texts me like this her this her uh this her boyfriend. I want to know if she uh she still one. He couldn't spell for shit, but he like he like I'm like cheating on you with who? Like with you. You man <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the phone. I, I went outside, I'm walking around my neighborhood. I'm on the phone with him for like 45 minutes, just giving him game. Like, bro, the moment you feel like you gotta go through your girl phone. It's over, bro. It was over. He like, yeah, bro. Like, it's man, weird. listen. Story, but I ain't gonna even say all that extra stuff. But like, I've never been the type to go through. Like, I don't even go through girls. So I, 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 me and Shario been together for like a year now. I never went through her text messages, DMs, Twitter, none of that. Like, it's not in me, bro. It's not in me. Bro. I never did that with any girl I ever dated. Yeah. Ever. Like if I if like if I'm out here looking dumb, I'm out here looking dumb. But you ain't gonna. I ain't gonna be like. Let, let me find that out. Shit. Don't let me just snoop and find something. Let some shit just generic. Uh, yeah, like what you laughing at? Man, let me see your phone, man. Uh, I'm not I'm not with like, it. I used to be like that. That's so weird. Like you laugh at something on Instagram. What bitch you texting? Bitch, I'm looking at a comedy video. What are you talking about? Like <laughs> you <see a> basketball <laughs> video. Like, uh, and that's that that's where that's where like my my like manipulation uh kick in, like I I be watching stuff on purpose, laughing, making noise, just to see like how she's gonna react. And then y'all 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 know that y'all can be manipulative manipulative in a way because I know I can I, sure. I can peep it. Like I be like bit. like I be. I never did it, but I noticed how easy it is. Yeah, I be texting, it, yeah, it's easy. I be, I be texting something that's not funny. <laughs> yeah, you fried. Yeah. Just waiting on her, to, just waiting on them to say something like, "What you doing? Who you texting?" Oh, you a like, creeper? You you like you you pray on the week? Yeah, I, then I'll be like, "Bro, this wrong." I I'll be like, "You want to see my phone? You want to see it? This wrong." Look, we talk about sports. 
look at you thirsty my bad like i do that all the time bro i just be i just be want to see like what you what you want for real for real like that's oh smart as fuck shirt. and too much at the same time like even if it I'm, is even if i'm doing something sneaky i'll be like you want my password i will give you my password right now you want it and they're gonna be like no nah, i trust you <laughs> now say if you you know you you with a girl and you know you kind of slip up and do something stupid in the beginning of your relationship so she kind of not trusting you in the moment. You, so you're still trying to do little stuff to gain her trust back, but you still think in the back of her mind, like, oh, uh, he might can still do something sneaky. Like, how do you how do you react to that? Am I, so I'm putting myself in this position because I don't think I would put myself in this position. If you're with a girl and, you know, you, you feeling her, but you do something stupid, like, you know. Okay, okay. Uh... DM is somebody on the low, but it's not really that. And she see it, and she like, oh, how I know you gonna be not gonna do this in the future type shit. Like you gonna do like, um, you gonna change how you move. You know, stop doing a little. Yeah, I think. Yeah, shit. I, I think I'll be like, all right, well, here we go. Here are all my passwords. Here it is down the third. Uh, and just explain to them like, <laughs> I ain't feel like we was gonna get this far. I feel like you know, I feel like you know, like I just, I just, just be honest, bro. Like. I find other women attractive right now. I want to get with other other women right now because, you know, it's, it's not that easy. Is, is that what? Tell like you that? mean like it's not that girl, easy. Like, saying, oh, you're I find other girls attractive because save you, you, you and girl you fucking with got feelings. You got feelings. Once feelings get question. involved, it's kind of hard to just end shit. That's y'all. Is, is it y'all are different? Is it relationships? <laughs> is, is the girl that we with? Is this somebody like we in a relationship with, or this someone? Yeah, is you in a relationship with? How long? Oh shit! It, it, it oh, don't matter how long. Relationship it do dog. matter, bro. <laughs> Get mad. Listen, <laughs> no, man. listen. If you if you in a committed relationship, my nigga, it, it, everything you do no, is bro, no, bro. Every, every, bro, everything. Yeah. Every detail matter, bro. How how long we been talking? How long we was talking before? A we committed relationship, my nigga, is a committed relationship. A committed no relationship, long, my nigga. All right, it's it, just it, like it's just like being, bro. That's just like saying. Hold on, and I'm DMing girls on the low. I'm bugging. Not not, that means I'm, I'm bugging. I don't even deserve an explanation. Like just cut cut me off because I'm yeah, bugging. Yeah, I was about to say that. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not that easy though. It's not that easy. You can be on some trying to. Change behavior type shit. Okay, well that's probably where my manipulation to kick in. Where I'll be like, where I, where I'll be playing like, man, just leave, man. I don't deserve you, man. Just leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> just just leave, leave me. Nobody <laughs> ever cared about me. <laughs> yeah, that's probably yeah, that's probably when that would kick in. But I hate when niggas do that. They be like, leave like everybody else did in my life. I'm like, damn, bro. But yeah, though, I, I don't... did no, I did, I did some girls like that. He be like. Just like everybody other, it's cool. Look, leave me like my dad and them other niggas. I heard that that's so many crazy, times, bro. Man. I heard that so many damn. times. That's crazy. Yeah, I heard that a couple of times. Y'all be what the fuck Y'all twenty ass daddy. Y'all be getting too yeah. close to girls though. I, like I got, I got like a. We're men, bro. <laughs> what, whether like, <laughs> yeah, I'm a grown ass man. Dude. <laughs> no, that's listen, how we bro. were made. That's how we were made. Like, we no, listen, to pre, like we're supposed to procreate. We're supposed to keep creating with women. We're supposed to, you know. After three, after three, four months, nah, like, nah, like, mm -mm, I'm fine. Ah, nigga, you can, ah, uh, you, you can't. I can't. Oh, hell no. This, nah. this nigga different, bro. I can't, bro. Man, you different. Bro, you know that. But bro. it's crazy because a lot of dudes feel like that, though. You Niggas can't. be young as fuck. I'm all, I can't be committed to nobody. Nigga, you I young mean, as hell. No, but like, I feel like, I feel uh, like I know, I know when the, I know the one, though. Like, I, I done met some girls, I'm like, this the one. And it's just time may work out, and I'm just like, all right, like, but like any any girl now that you got like a, a good three four months with me, like let's live it up. Then after that three four months, like, that's it. Well, if the feelings get involved though, see you, I think you dismissing feelings, like nope. nigga, we no no no, yeah, I still have, I still we have. How you have feelings for somebody you can just easily cut them off? That's that's hard. That's impossible. Bro. Say happy birthday. That's impossible. Birthday come up, like ask them how they doing every once in a while, like. No, bro. You just ain't got a heart, my nigga. You, ain't <laughs> you, you heart is as fuck, bro. Yeah. I'm not, though. I'm, I don't know. This nigga you the 10 you, man on God, bro. You, you can't care about a woman and not have, like, real feelings for her. Like, I, yeah. that's hard. I can probably name Especially her. Especially you, you with her every day. Y'all communicating about shit. Y'all be personal and deep conversation. 
You tell me you, you cut her off in three or four months? I can name about six or seven that I, I feel like I got. That's why they hate you. I still got. Don't nobody hate me. Nobody ask him. Nobody hate me. <laughs> nobody. I, I don't know. No, none. Nobody hate me, bro. I don't, I don't. I don't be doing stuff though, bro. I just be being me, bro. I don't be. Man, <laughs> three or four months. I wish I had that shit, cause boy, I would have cut off some in the past three or four months. Yeah. Easy, man. Nigga, the what? Longest, the longest Easy. Girl. Longest girl I ever deal with my first girlfriend. That was probably like almost two years. Like other than that, like I probably that's a long time feel. Yeah, I was 17. I was what 17, 18, 19. Nigga, you was only in love once, and that was if you were 17, bro. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> you ain't give yourself time to fucking try again. For what? I got a question. Hey, that's the I, stigma that we got as niggas. We no, get no, no. broke at one time and then be over with for the Okay, rest. cool. All right, cool. You can have that. How how old are how old are you, Ron? I'm 23 in like two weeks. Okay, how many times you been in love? Three. Okay. Three I wanna say three? twice. You been in love right three? now and one other time. How, how many times you been how many relationships you've been in? Me? Mm -hmm. Serious ones. Hold on, it was four. Four. So out of out of three out of four. Okay. <laughs> actually, I was in love. Actually, I was in love four times. Four times. Ooh, I God damn. Four. four out of four. Like, I talked to a lot of girls before, but I had four serious relationships, and I was in love with all. All right, now, yeah. now, now, I had now, like now, three, three. Yeah, you, you, twenty-two. I'm twenty. Well, I might be twenty-five later on this year. Oh, okay, twenty-five, three. All right, I'm twenty-two and one. <laughs> Who just want to fall in love that many times? I don't got time to fall that, that, that no, many times. No, you're right on that aspect. Nobody want to it's fall in love that many times. But you got to get some type of dating experience. And Bro, I have date. Hey, some listen, feelings involved. Listen, in I, have, I have dating experience. I don't have, and I have two and a half years of relationship experience. Dating and relationship, that's like two different things to me. I date all the time. It is. It's <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm not doing that, bro. I'm not about to be like, all right, yeah, but be going through. I don't have time to like miss a good morning text and then everything going crazy. Like I don't have time for that, bro. I'm too. Busy. I ain't gonna say, yeah, bro. Yeah. Me and Shariel uh, say good morning to each other every other couple of days, but nah, she she she'll be with me waking up in the morning. I ain't about to see you no know, good morning text type shit. Like, it, it it just be little stuff like that. I'd be like, I'm 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 not. You know, he kind of right about that. It be little stuff like that that they trip about. They go crazy over, it. and that's true. Like they like if you don't text back at a certain time, they call if you, you don't tripping. put heart, if you don't put no hearts on their tweets or their pictures, they think you acting yeah. different. Yeah, <laughs> he, he kind of no, for that. real, bro. I'm for going through that, man. Like, I'm be telling like you, that. man. It be it be little shit. shit. You could be thinking like it's not I'm a big not deal. This little shit. This this ain't got nothing. This ain't really serious for us to be arguing about. Exactly. They are like ninety nine percent relationship arguments don't be serious arguments. It be like, petty bro. ass social media tech some dumb shit. This this it's what I say. Shit. This what I say, and they be like, you always saying that. You always got a something slick to say. I be like, bro, it's me and you versus the problem, not me, you, and the problem. In a chair match, triple yeah. threat match. I, like, bro, if we got a problem with something, let's talk about it together as a problem. Not Dude. you use the problem to hit me in the head with it. Like, bro, and when well, women they they use their feelings as justification for shit. Like, exactly. They say, "Oh, that's how I was 100%. feeling, so I just did this." <laughs> like, damn, y'all 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 giving me a uh, reminiscent vibes over here, man. Like, <laughs> like, why is my why is my cat ball? I shaved it after you ain't come home last night. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, what did the cat have to do with that? That's the cat didn't do on, shit. Bro. Like, they, they be on there, bro. Like, bro, why is why are my good. clothes they in the bag by the front door? door? They you they 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 will explain their feelings on why they do certain shit, but let us say how we feeling and what our feelings do in our decision making. They be like, oh, that's an excuse. That's they, the blah blah yeah. blah. That's it's like, dumb. That's dumb. When we like, when we when men when men explain themselves, they be like, I don't know how you feel like that. Yeah, we can't we can't have men, them, they they, they, they them, reason bro. and they feel us for, for certain shit. It be like, what the fuck? <laughs> but you can't. But the thing about women though, you just can't do nothing but love them, man. When they, you be like, all right, man. <laughs> yeah, but at the I, same I, time, with women, they they criticize us to a T every single day. But once we throw our criticism about them, 
they either deflect it, they dismiss it, they don't acknowledge it, or they'll be like, well, I don't have a problem here. Yeah, they hey, saw castle. We were we were misogynistic. We were always shaming women, but more more times than not, it's them shaming us. Man, you know how many times I get on social media and see black men ain't shit every fucking day. Uh, I I'm gonna give day. me a white man. These niggas ain't shit. Man. But as soon as a as soon as a nigga like a white woman's picture, y'all so quick to cancel a nigga. Look, now y'all talking about. And I hate white women. But I'm, Why I don't? Yeah, exactly. yo. <laughs> this now nah, this 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 another position I'm not gonna put myself in. I'm not about to put myself in a. I'm not about to be in a. I'm not about to be in a relationship with a woman who can't hold herself accountable. I'm gonna tell y'all. That's I'm, a lot. That's pretty much all of them, bro. I'm, but listen, I'm not gonna look, he he know this. I will I will de- I will like trick a girl into thinking she did something just so she can apologize, just so I can just to test her out. Like you made me feel some type of way you did this, blase, blase. Oh, I'm sorry I did that. All right, now I know, all right, maybe she can hold herself accountable to some situation. If I, oh, t- I like, like, I gotta I gotta put you through tests. If you tell me, Kareem, you did this, so I did that, blase, blase. All right, you want me to be like, all right, that's my fault. You want roses, your nails done, cool. If I tell you, you did this, blase, blase, and you be like, oh, I only did that because you ain't do, because you did this and you ain't text back. And you can't just be like, all right, honey, here goes some money for your haircut. If you can't do that like I just did for you, it's time for you to kick yeah, rocks. Yeah, yeah. I'm so glad Shario not like that, bro. <laughs> it's time I'm so glad you're not green. like that at all. Bro, you'll, like, head, you'll, you'll wake up with my greens. <laughs> that was your situation. <laughs> like, bro. And that's another thing, bro. Serena Williams gets so much praise. Nobody say nothing to her about marrying that white man, bro. But the moment, <laughs> the moment you see a black man with a white woman, bro, you're going to kill him, bro. When I say Michael B. Jordan in the music video with a white woman, they was like, you love him or Becky. It's when, Kyrie, all when Kyrie was on the boat with all them white women, they was trashing him. They trashed Tiger Woods. With all Kaylani, his... they was trashing him. It's crazy, bro. He was fucking with Kaylani. I knew that shit wasn't going to work. She got heavy tattoos, got tattoos on her face. Them type of hoes are ruthless. <laughs> you think so? They are. They are. Damn, they are ruthless. She look cool, oh, though. Lucio- she, she look, look amazing. Cool. He trap, <laughs> She look cool. Hey, she talented as hell, but she seemed like she'll fuck a nigga up. Right. She, she, yeah, she seemed like she'll pull a razor blade out of, out of nowhere and give a nigga a buck 50, though. Listen, that's Gemini's. I'm dealing with one. They don't listen. It's never fair, bro. It's, it, yeah. Uh, my uh future career gonna be canceled fucking with our videos. I just see that. <laughs> <laughs> good, man. You good. They gonna, they gonna I, mean, I love, I love all women. Women, <laughs> we we can't live without them. But it just they want to they want to be considered equal, equal to playing field, you know. Because for a long time, the playing field, you know, we had certain advantages as men. You know, women hasn't had them. So now, at the this day and age, with cancel culture and fucking Me Too movements, now women are having the voice. They're more in powerful positions, and they mm-hmm. should be as yeah. deserving. But if they can have all these platforms and say they peace, they should be able to get criticized as much as they throw the crit or the criticisms to men. And a lot yeah. of times they can't yeah. handle the criticism, but they're the main ones critiquing. I and that's like, where the disconnect is sometimes. I feel like as a black man we get hard right. accountable for stuff we never said was okay. <laughs> like we yeah. never said don't don't pay women. Don't treat women as equal. We never said that. We we don't shit. Even, niggas be saying don't cheat. <laughs> we don't even, bro. We bro. Black people, black men. We just mind our business. We don't care about nothing that's going on. But then, you, bro. then these I black women want to get on the internet like we're not treated this. We're not. I'll just be reading like, bro. If there's anybody, if there's somebody you think wants you held back. It's I ain't gonna lie. It's the I white mean, it, woman, it, bro. Certain times, it's black women aren't, especially black women. They're they're not being protected in a way, and certain mm-hmm. times they are saying some truth of it. But they'll use an example of one nigga doing something or say something stupid and label yeah. all niggas like that. And this is like, bruh. I would say, condone? I would say maybe. I would say maybe because they added to like like when when I first got informed on all this, it was like uh. Why do uh why do everybody think all black women be having attitudes? I'm like that is true though, cause I worked in the grocery store and like 
I did used to always be like, she got an attitude. Just because she black, I used to always think like she got an attitude. She got an attitude. So you know they, Oh, I, they, I never color base it. I feel like all women have attitude problems. You think so? I ain't color based it <laughs> on shit. I know white, I know white women, Puerto Ricans, they got attitude problems out the ass. All women besides color got attitude and personality I feel issues. Like, but yeah, I feel like as far as like that, th that was true because like Every time, like a black woman would come, like I want this, that, and the third. Like I all, if she wasn't smiling or laughing, I'm just like, man, she got an attitude. She mad. And then when I see a white woman, I'm like, oh yeah, she's happy. She cool. But they, they, yeah, some of it, like the other shit they be talking about, though, I ain't with it. I ain't with it. But I be, I just be like, man, this, this my black queen, so I, I gotta support it. You know, be I ain't gonna black. lie, I used to love women, black women with attitudes. It, they used too. to be the purest ones. Yeah, that's I what's wrong them. with that's what's wrong with y'all, bro. That's what's wrong with y'all. I dated them. Those are the ones I was yeah. fucking in love with. I'm gonna tell y'all. <laughs> while they probably them the did. one that's like, damn, you so mean, but I love you. <laughs> God damn, I can't break away I from it. You. While they had the best lyrics when he said, you know, the college girls want the hood niggas, like, and you know, the smart girls want. The hood niggas and you know the, the good dudes want the bad bitches and that was right though that's facts bro because we all like what's opposite of us bro y'all see that's not always true though bro it seemed bro y'all it seemed like y'all like the <laughs> like it seemed like y'all like that <laughs> girl you so no, I, I, I like when my girl a little mean shit sure you mean as hell sometimes but i don't i, I don't I like none of that I don't like I think that's my. I think that's the that that's your problem. problem with, that's the problem with me. I'm too calm and laid yeah, back. Yeah, y'all can't. Y'all yeah. can't. Yeah, exactly. I'm too calm and laid back, so I can handle somebody who a little rah rah. Y'all can't be so sweet and calm, and then y'all got like this firecracker, right? Because when it pop, you ain't pop yet. But you need that for excitement, though, bro. You too boring, motherfuckers. Not gonna play. Y'all is too bugging, rah rah, bro. motherfuckers. Y'all not bugging, gonna play. <laughs> That's why he four for four. That's why he one hundred percent, and you sixty seven percent. I need I I I'm 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 the man. I'm the dude. If anybody gonna get rowdy, these motherfuckers, it's me. <laughs> I need you to just be calm and actually like calm. But calm, but man. that's how you. I feel like that's how relationships balance. So you got a calm person and a rah rah person. They can both equal each other out. Yeah. Like all right, I'm not rah rah like that for real. Shit, Shariel made me rah rah to the point where all right, I'm on I'm on bullshit. She be rah rah. I can calm her down, get to her to a point where she level. She cool. She chilling. Like that's how relationships can really be effective. Y'all can just balance each other out for real. I need to be calmed down. I'm the one. I need to be the one that's. That's why you need a girl who laid the fuck back. Yeah, because if if somebody more extra than me, I'm gonna be like, what you? Yeah, you, you not gonna. You <laughs> like, damn, I'm already extra. I can't <laughs> you, handle yeah, more extra. You doing too much. Like we both doing I, too much. This I, I, I am there. the peacemaker. I'm the one that give all the spiritual calm talks. And yeah, mental. bro. Yeah. That's but then you gonna so need that's... you gonna need somebody who gonna give you that little fire every now and then. And no. I had that when we when we went out to eat and shit. I was like, damn, I ain't ordered this. Excuse me, he yeah, ain't yeah, said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I that's, love that shit. I love that shit. That's when rah, I need rah. somebody rah rah. Like, man, I only got six mozzarella sticks, man. Well, I'm I, don't say trip, I don't trip about that. Yeah, I'll be cool. Like, oh, I'm going to say something. We're going to get us some extra mozzarella. Cheers. Yeah, I'm, hey, I'm when, when they that. do that shit, though, <laughs> they be on point. Like, oh, he ain't, he didn't order this. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, baby, I didn't, yeah, baby, I didn't order this at too. all. <laughs> it's funny, too. They come back, I just look like, yeah, I ain't <laughs> bad, <right>. like. <laughs> It's cool, man. Just give me some some marinara sauce. I'll be, no, we're we're gonna bring you something. Like, no, no, you gonna get them. Especially if you can't really for the food. Stuff. If you didn't get what you order, oh, they gonna tell that way. Hey, no, <laughs> he didn't order this. That's that's yeah. what I, that's what I need them to be a firecracker. But other, other I ain't gonna people, hold you. Just relax. They pussy got ate off the bone after that day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, man what? Know how you handle that way? You might get your pussy ate from the back of night, girl. <laughs> I don't need no, I don't need no firecracker though. I just like nice, calm, relax, bro. Just chill. Like I, I got this. Cause two boring motherfuckers not gonna work. Y'all extra boring. You don't think so though? Yeah, that's. I never dated boring. nobody as calm as me, but like I haven't had nobody that just like to chill and just watch. I couldn't handle. I couldn't. I know I couldn't handle that. I, I need. I'm glad I'm with somebody who what's what's more raw raw than me. What's boring though? Like what's boring? Like. Ain't no excitement. I mean, 
I'm adventurous. Like I do shit. I'm just not yeah, the person like, that just like, get, yeah, I just like, I don't get extra. I don't yeah. get extra in situations. That's the only thing for me. I don't. I just be like, fuck it, man. But I do shit. I just don't be on some. Nah, 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 nah. I don't do that shit. What you saying? Yeah. Like going camping or something? Like you motherfucker just want to stand watch. <laughs> oh hell no! Somebody just want to stay and watch Netflix all the time, type. I think you mean personality wise. Yeah, personality wise. All right. Like, I'm a calm person. I'm a laid back nigga. Like, I'm, it's the times where I know I be on some boring shit. I couldn't handle messing with somebody who either more boring than I am or on the same level. Like, All right, bro. One of us got to be like the rah rah, oh. turned up one. Like, that'd be too All much. Right, so- like, I'm only like that if I'm playing a game or if I'm hooping or something. You, you, you like you like a party yeah. person. You like you, you like let's go parties, let's go to the club type. I'm not that type of person. I don't, nah, I'm not for real. But if I'm fucking with somebody who is that type of person, shit, I need to get out. Shit, let, we can go party. Let's go kick it. Yeah. Now nah, we kicking it to a point where I'm the one who always like to go home, chill out. Smoke and relax. All right, yeah, all right. She might follow me because all right, she's the type of one who always wanna go out and kick it. Now she fuck with somebody who more to lay back. She can respect that and move how I'm moving. If y'all both equally turned the fuck up, that could that could work. Yeah, y'all gonna be getting in fights at the club or something. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know, man. I, don't I wanna know. experience that. I wanna experience cracking a nigga head over with a bottle. <laughs> oh, I'm, going to that. <laughs> I'm good. I don't need. I'll be. <laughs> I don't need that either. But it's just like something about that. The fun, the rush. You like, damn, man. Run I'm to, in the tank. Run to the car, like, yeah. She hype you up. Yeah, man. You did that. You bust that nigga head open. <laughs> oh, don't no. let you, you know. Don't let somebody say some hard shit around your girl. And you won't say nothing back or defend yourself. They gonna be hey, at you like you. That's 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 another reason I don't go out with a girl for real, bro. I ain't. Cause niggas like the niggas like to be weird when you around your girl for some reason, bro. Hey, niggas look, like niggas act- like to be weird um, around women. Period. Yeah, that shit is weird. Bro. That shit is gay. I have that's one more than just weird. I have that's, that's little girl shit to me, bro. Uh, when I when I lived on thirty or whatever with my first girlfriend, we downtown. Not even down like by CSU, and it was like this black dude. He just kept wet, walking back and forth. Towards me and her and shit. I'm like, oh, after the second time you didn't walk, nigga, yeah, what's up? So, so you I'm doing like, the most. I don't know what he on, but like, I, I'm about to go to the bathroom. So I run in the little subway, use the bathroom. I come back out, he like right there next to her, talking to her. So I'm walking up. I'm like, you good? He like, yeah, bro. My bad. I ain't know this was your girl. I'm like, bro. Me, and, I'm like, bro. Me, I'm like, it's ten o'clock at night. I'm outside with her. Who who you thought it was? He like my bad, my bad, my bad. Then he walked away, and she just like, I ain't know you was gonna say nothing because he was that big. I'm like, <laughs> if I did say nothing, you was gonna be like, ah, oh, some nigga tried to talk to me and you ain't take her, you ain't say nothing. So like, they ain't gonna they ain't gonna say it. Like in the mirror, they ain't gonna say that y'all get into an argument like three months later. Or yeah, that's what I'm saying though. They're yeah. like, you a whole. I ass- think because I'm a bigger dude. <laughs> I'm a big nigga who a chill nigga. It'd be easy for niggas smaller than me that who want to be on some bullshit. And I'd be like, all right, bro. Now I gotta be on bullshit because I don't want to be on bullshit, bro. I'm 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 one of them niggas who just you want to chill, mind my business. You gotta do or say some some dumb shit to really piss me off to get to the point where I want to fuck you up. And when I'm there, I don't think I just be blacking out. When I black out and I be in attack mode, I don't remember shit. I remember I was not gonna. Sixth, seventh grade, I was at the lunch table at my school. One dude kept talking shit. I'm like ignoring it, whatever. I'm eating my shit. Nigga, I had like a little, you know how they had the little uh, circle pieces that came like a little plastic bag? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Little food? Best pieces I've ever had in my life. You can get them at ever. Save a lot. You can get them at Save Oh my God, them bitches <laughs> smack. Smack. Nigga, lit that bitch in the air on the ground. Man. I know you're talking about the Tony. Oh, no. You're talking about the Tony's one, the one that come like the yes, like yes, orange. yes. Oh yeah, them with the sausages on them. Them oh, bitches yeah. was perfect. You, you I, perfect. I hope you tweaked on him, boy. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> like, I was hungry. That was the best piece I ever had in my life. Nigga, you flipped it and threw it on the ground. Fuck them up. Didn't remember how I did it, but I fucked them up. Yep. Oh, I thought somebody called my name. Yeah. 
You ate the pizza still? You, you picked the pizza up and ate it? Yeah. Nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Hold on real quick, y'all. I'll be back. Nigga, that's cool, bro. I wouldn't eat it. I wouldn't eat it either. <laughs> you know I used to eat. You know I'm from 30. If I used to be eating stuff on the floor, type of shit. you know I used to do that shit. Hey, I got I got a bar too. I had to eat for like the last hour and a half, dog. <laughs> you can edit this out. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. But yeah. But back to where my story be out. Black Down nigga started fighting and beat his ass. All I remember was his nose was bleeding. I was like, damn. When I fight, I don't remember shit. <laughs> Dude, ain't, I ain't been in a fight thing. since like Hey, 14 years old, bro. What grade ain't you was in? Nobody. I've been, huh? You was in what, the eighth grade? High school. That, my, yeah, my, my bro, last. My last I've been waiting. Grade. I've been waiting to fuck somebody up. I've been waiting <laughs> for the <laughs> day and the <laughs> opportunity. And I ain't a nice type of person. But I'd be like, <laughs> uh, when I be out and about, I'll go somewhere, I'll be like, I'm waiting for somebody. To I ain't gonna lie, bro. You in the wrong generation in the wrong city be trying to fight. <laughs> you know ain't nobody fighting you. <laughs> oh no. And it's crazy. That's why I'm in the most to get my sissy dubs. I know niggas. And I'm a big nigga. So you know, it. You know ain't I'm not the fastest you, nigga. Bro. But once my big ass get my hands on you, bro, I'm fucking somebody up. And ain't nobody gonna wanna fight my big ass. That's that's the crazy thing about it though. Like that used to be the best time where like like you know, like let's go. Like, let's go catch 60 seconds. Like, 60 seconds. Mm-hmm. That niggas was used to get their ass beats, bro. Niggas not fighting out here, bro. Yeah, so, niggas like, used to get their that's ass what it is. Niggas can't really fight no more. That's what it is. Niggas could never really fight at all. Bro, but even, like, even if you get beat up, though, like, 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 I only fought two people. One person I used to fight, me and him probably fought, like, 300 times, bro. He beat me up something. I'm not doing that. Once we fall, like, fight, like, once or twice, nigga, what we keep fighting for? Listen, bro, man, I'm, I'm about to turn my, I'm about to probably, I'm about to DM. The male yeah. ego is crazy, bro. That's Listen, why I don't bro, get game banging. That's why Listen, I don't get it. I was fight, I was fighting this dude from kindergarten until like eighth grade, bro. At, nigga, from five to twelve. Yeah, we was fighting, bro. No. Yep. No, we either not gonna fuck with each other, bro. <laughs> I don't know you. No, I'm we, not about to be fighting you for bro, it wasn't bro. Years. It wasn't bro. It bro. I'm bro. I'm from 30, bro. If if when I see you and you see me, we gotta get it. Po- it's no, no. That was a mindset growing up. That's bro. exhausting, no talking, bro. bro. That, that's exhausting, bro. What, ex- bro? My mind used to be like, can y'all go to the store? Go get me this. Give me that third. Y'all can get five dollars each off the food stamp card. I used to be like, oh my god, <laughs> I'm going to like, bro. Like his house was on the way to the corner store. So like as I'm going to the corner store, I'm just looking like I see his little sister. I'm like, damn, there goes his little sister. Let me get ready. Like every time, bro, we bro, we probably fought over 300 times. The most we fought in one day was probably like six or seven, bro. It's like he see like nigga. Bro, it's bro. I'm talking about we fight. On on my way to the store, we fight. On my way back, we fight. His, it, it, it's not even worth the breath of two, <laughs> two, two, three times fighting, bro. Listen, we his sister got beat, bro. His Please. sister, yeah, his sister, his sister, uh, bring him to my house. They they used to be throwing rocks at my window, at my window and shit. Come down, da- come downstairs, fight again. Two hours later, I'm outside at the park, see him again. We fighting like all the time. I like the all right. The last time I saw him, uh, and what be the lesson in that? Like, what what was the lesson, bro? Bro, I don't even know why we was fighting, bro. Listen, the last I like all right. So I saw him. I was walking home from East Tech one day. I'm walking. I see him like we know he's bro. You you know somebody walk, bro. I see him. He with somebody else. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't seen this nigga in like six months. We about to we walking toward each other. We walking toward each other. He like, what's up? I'm like, what's up? Like, you good? I'm like, yeah. He like, all right. 
I'm like, he ain't want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> I went home. It's like, like, what's the point? Bro, look, I went home to my mom, like, Ma, I saw his, he ain't want to. She like, for real? What? I'm like, yeah, Ma, he ain't want to. She like, I don't trust it. I seen him. All right, that's ninth grade. Last time I saw him, 10th grade, coming home. I, I'm uh, on 30th, you get off the Charlie. I come right off. Bam, see him right there. He with three niggas. I'm like, fuck, they about to jump me. He like, Ray, what's up with it, boy? I'm like, what did you want? And then then they could drop the beat because it's like, what's the what's the <laughs> point? What's well, he, the point? He bro? just he just got out of jail. And like, he probably feel like, all right, this nigga ain't, ain't no scary nigga. All oh, right, yeah. I respect him. So he's like, it took him all the way to eighth grade fight. to realize that. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he just got out of jail like three, four months ago, bro. He DM me like, bro, what's up, boy? What you want, boy? I see you out. I'm like, yeah, you good? He like, yeah. Hey, I was just about to ask you, like, if you see that nigga now, is it still beef? Nah, we follow each other. I be liking his pretty like mine. Like, nah, it ain't beef. Man, see, Cleveland niggas, it don't always work like that. For sure. Nah. For sure. Hey, look, though, I'm going to tell you, though, if if we grew up in this generation, he probably would have killed me. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah right. He probably, probably would have shot, probably shot me. Like, yeah, for sure. If we was like 15, 16 right now. Oh yeah, he would have. Yeah, he would have shot. He would have killed me. Especially him. It's crazy. He would. He a demon. He would have. Yeah, he would have. Yeah, he would have shot me. He would. You know me. that nigga. You wasn't backing down from his ass. So he probably was like, "All oh, right, I respect this nigga." That's All the right. crazy thing. The crazy thing about it though, it just used to be me, my little brother, and my sister, bro. And he used to be with the whole hood though. Like, and it's so crazy. That's why I respect niggas from my hood because they used to be with him and they never jumped me. All them niggas would be with him, bro. He and that's like, funny because I all I've seen is 30th motherfuckers and down the way niggas jumping he, somebody. He'd be he would be with like they he'd be with like six, seven other 30th niggas. They'd be like, I adapt them niggas up. What's up? What's up? Come to him. Take my shit off. Like, yeah, nigga. We about to get like they never jump. I never got jumped by none of them niggas, bro. Like they like they understood like we got some we got some Randy or and we got some Randy or and uh triple H type beef, some shit like that. No, who triple H? Chris Benoit, Triple H type B. Like, whenever we saw each other, it was on, bro. And it's so R. R. Shit, bro. Chris Benoit. For sure. Like <laughs> we like we used to we had finished fighting. I adapt them up, go on about my way, bro. They be like, I already saw what you we see you. Like they never jumped me, bro. Like me and him just had some Tom and Jerry type B, bro. Like, man, that nigga, man. That shit get exhausting, man. It's like what's what's if we ain't beef about no money on no and woman, look, any and anybody that know what me, are we What's the problem? Anybody that know me, they hear me telling this story. Like, it was times where I was thirsty to fight. Like, I, I was going through stuff at home. So, I needed to put my anger out on something. So, my mom, like, who want to go to the store and give me a, a, a two liter of ginger ale? Me? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to I ain't fighting enough. That's why I got energy to fuck somebody up now. Like, man, I used to just wonder, like, I can't wait till I see. I'm going to try something new. I'm going to uh, uh, slam them. Uh. But we never, like, that's the thing, though. It was like punch, punch, and we just grab each other the whole time. Like, it never was no crazy shit like him slamming me, I'm slamming him. Hey, you got dreads, nigga. I know somebody trying to grab with your hair. I ain't no. Nah, Both y'all niggas got hair. I had cornrows back then, so like yeah. At like the time, I was I had a, like a mohawk, like a curly. So my shit wasn't like this, but my shit was just like here. I mean, I, you know, I fought some people that was uh pulling hair, some uh some gay people before, so I ain't gonna cap. Only <laughs> I only fought two niggas my whole life, bro. That's the crazy thing about it, bro. Two niggas. I fought all the time growing up. That's why I don't fight no more. That's an exhaust. It's exhausting. I got a whole wrist full of scars and open hand surgery for doing stupid shit. So I'm cool, bro. I'm cool. Besides fighting like my brother and cousins, them the only two niggas. Oh, that don't even count for it. That's yeah. like so fast. No, they don't, yeah, they don't yeah. Count. I only only fought two times my whole life. It, nobody else wanted to like. I never was the type of nigga somebody want to fight. Like, what do you want to fight me for, bro? I'm cool. <laughs> No, just trying to get some validation from other motherfuckers. That, oh yeah, I, can, gonna, I got hands. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, ain't nobody you get validation on me. Everybody get, like somebody. Mm -hmm. All the if I ain't in, if I ain't in Floyd or McGregor Lee, ain't no point in me fighting. Like all the other, like any, like somebody say something crazy to me or something like that. All the other, all the other niggas don't want to hop on his ass. Like, dude, Reen ain't even like like what you want, bro. Like you getting mad because he made a joke about you. Are right, we gonna jump your ass after school then? Since you crying, about, <laughs> since you crying about you trying to fight him one on one, niggas, niggas roasting skills is horrible. And what's crazy, yeah. I used to be a bully too, bro. That's what. That's really what shit. My roasting like. skills ain't all the way up there, but I'm hot of flaming nigga off the quick shit. You gotta be quick and savvy. 
I, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't like that roasting shit, bro. <laughs> I didn't either, but you gotta. Yeah, sure. I didn't like it either, but I flame a nigga if I got to. If I <laughs> have to, I'll flame a nigga, but I don't want to. Like, I ain't. I'm, 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 I'm going to go sit at the girls' table and, and joke with them. Like, bro, you know, I'm about to sit here talking about you all day, bro. Like, yes, bro. You got on Jordans. I got on Jordans. Okay. <laughs> it's crazy with me. I went to the same elementary school from preschool to eighth grade. So. What school was that? Iowa Maple Elementary School, 127th in Iowa Avenue. That's still Safe around? Yes, yeah. yeah, still around. I never heard of no shit like that. Where is yeah. Same school. Yeah. I've been, I've been, I've, the people I've been, I grew up with went to the same school. So I know everybody in the neighborhood type shit. Yeah, see, Where, that's... Grandmother went, stayed right across the street. So I used to stay right across the street from my school type shit. See, that that's I ain't gonna lie, that that's something I would want for like my, my I don't know. Would I want them to go across maybe I don't know. I did I I it was cool, but it was like nigga, I live across street from school. Yeah, you can't be bad, you can't be doing nothing crazy, bro. Cause like Nick and it's crazy because I, I done moved to like Euclid, I done moved to fucking Lakeshore, and I still was going to the same school. I had opportunities <laughs> to transfer to different schools. In different places, I'm like, no, I still want to go to the hood. Just all the people I knew down there was. And looking back, I'm like, damn, I could have went to another school, met a whole different that, environment of people and shit. That thought way and, different. It thought way different. How I was accustomed to and you know moving around. And once I moved to the Heights, I moved out. I, I moved off the Clear at 14, not 15. That's when I went to Cleveland Heights. Whole new scene. Oh, Bitches is crazy. Like you, it be women that was 14, fourteen, fifteen. They like they was twenty, twenty one. You be like, damn, this is just high school, bro. Hey, yeah, I ain't gonna I lie. Just, being being on Facebook, you looking like, damn, she go to Garfield, she go to Bedford. Damn, who out there? I came from the yeah. same parents to Cleveland Heights, bro. It was a whole different time, like a whole different scene. Yeah, I was dating a Garfield Heights girl when I was sixteen. Yeah, it was different. <laughs> yeah, it was different. He was living a life, bro. Yeah, it was different. It was That's different. Crazy, though. We we were so used to the, you know, looking seeing down the way girls all the time. Like you see girls. Hood, you used to see hood hoes every day to the bitches who got who driving uh hummers or some nice ass cars. Like they People got money. They mom, they mom or dad got a little bit of money. <laughs> Hey, the girl I was dating, I went to Garfield Heights. They was picking me up in a Lexus truck. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Picking me up from down the way in the Lexus. They all like, oh yeah. <laughs> it, it's a it's a different time. You be like, damn, like I ain't used to this shit. Hell no. It's different now. Motherfuckers go down the way and they still they look at night. And it's crazy. Niggas get go from the hood and want to go to the suburbs. And the suburb motherfuckers want to come to the hood. That's weird. Bruh, yeah, that don't make no sense to me. No, no, yeah, you right though, because like by the time by the time I was like in 11, 12th grade, I had heard about how like all everybody want to go to Maple, Bedford, Euclid, and all that. But then everybody that go to Euclid and shit, they want everybody, used to, bro, you know, everybody used to want to come to tech, bro. Everybody just thought tech was just so crazy, like, bro, why do you want to come here, bro? <laughs> yeah, I used to tell people, like, yeah, I want to yeah. eat tech. You went to tech? Oh man, I always I wanted to go there. I knew it was going. It's high school. What you talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like what's so No, funny? bro, you know about the schools that used to be lit. Stop playing. I don't know why people like that. Like people like going to the schools that got the most problems. That was so weird growing That's up. That's weird. Cleveland yeah. Heights, bro. I never so knew weird. Cleveland Heights had that many problems, bro, before I went there. It was crazy. Then. I'm like, I came from Jane Adams on 30th, my nigga. Jane Adams. Oh, yeah. Hood motherfuckers. I'm, I watched some hoes on 30th jump this nigga on Tri C campus, bro. With like five girls on one nigga. I'm like, damn. That happened all the time, man. Yeah, hell my yeah. Nigga, a nigga get jumped by some girls and yeah, they beat nice. his ass. Like, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so now I'm in the suburbs. I ain't rich, but y'all, y'all people got money. Mm hmm. I'm like motherfuckers pulling up in like you in Lexus trucks, Lexus cars, foreign shit. You like, damn, this is just high school. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, this I is know. not college. This is high school, hey, bro. When I left Tech and I went to uh, Success Tech and I found out, like, some of the 11th and 12th graders had cars, I'm like, damn. <laughs> this is like on some, you know, the movie type shit. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't think. Bro, I went like, to a high school football game, bro. Heights versus Glenview. Oh, my God. They hate each other, bro. I know that game. Oh, my crazy. God. The bang outs used to be crazy. Yeah, yeah. Bangers used to be crazy. See, that's why I ain't go to that stuff. I don't got time. Like, I'm not going to, like, I ain't got time for that, bro. The like, building Cleveland High like, football games is like that and a wrestling match. That's the live shit on a Friday night, a Cleveland High <laughs> yeah. football game. No, I'm dead, dead ass, bro. The whole city would be out. Whole city. Spe- don't let it be a high versus Collinwood, Glenview, or CCC. Mm-hmm. The whole city coming out. Basketball game, football game. I never wanted to go because it's like everybody always like plan to just dress real nice and fight. <laughs> yeah, that's check check basketball. That's a like, party like, too. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's like you going to the game, you going to the game, you going to the yeah, yeah. Because such and such said when they see such and such, they on. Um, I'm like, what? I hate that niggas want to dress up and go be around other niggas, bro. That's so weird, bro. That's so weird. <laughs> That's how the yeah. IX music and they still, <laughs> and niggas still do that to this day. That's how the IX was, bro. The IX was oh just like that, bro. Everybody, everybody wanted to dress up, bro. They go to the IX. <laughs> hey, I used to be on Facebook just like looking at everybody pictures though. Like, bro, you just dress straight. You just dress all that up to go stand around. Take like everybody want to take pictures with the famous person. You're not even going around. to enjoy the amusement. You going there just to look a certain way for yeah, social media yeah, and other people. Niggas. That's why a lot of people are shallow, bro, to this day. A lot of shallow motherfuckers, man. Like, prom, prom and IX Center was like in the... They was almost... <laughs> 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 I think it used to really... Like, I went to the IX Center one time. I was like 14, 15. I was like, I'm not doing this again because the whole city of Cleveland is in the IX Center. Man, I, I probably, don't want to see you. Like, it's like, same situation. People, like, you've seen shit on Twitter. People get mad because... Motherfuckers talking about the whole city of Cleveland either in Atlanta or Miami. Hell yeah. The whole city of Cleveland is in Miami right now, bro. Oh, yeah. I don't. I've been and I've been in Miami before. Yeah, yeah. I've been seeing so, all the Cleveland people post Miami. You know, when I was in you know, bro, the whole I, city. I was just watching this girl close friends and she in Miami. That's the crazy. <laughs> thing about it. That's crazy. Like I, they, bro, they gonna start. They gonna, they gonna start coming here to LA, Miami bro. Right now, on my time. Bro. They gonna start coming here to LA. LA just opened like last week. I'm gonna start seeing some people. Yeah, I just, I just, Ron just told you like the, the one old girl. She just was just in LA, like yeah, like a couple of months ago and shit. But the gas went up. They know people coming here. It's, it's, yeah, it's getting crazy. All star game in Cleveland next year, man. Yeah, that's about to be. It's wild. about to get. It's about to be brazy. It's about to, it's about to talk to about that. It was, I think it was me. About, yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm not entertaining that, bro. Because I said I was going. I said I was going to come back and watch it. Because I want to come back to my yeah, city but. I was too. It would be fun, but like we like we would go on some cool like that'd be cool for all the three of us to go down and go see. But then when we leave the arena, that's it's gonna a, be some a, weird that's shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah but mean, like that's you just know all three of us go, bro. We we something bound crazy to happen, bro. But like we going with good intentions, but something bad. Yeah, happen, we going bro. to see the I game. Know but we it, know bro. we leave the we know we leave the arena. Cleveland is Cleveland. Yeah, bro, it's gonna so. be something crazy, bro. Like, and you, like you nigga in the finals, a nigga was getting punched because he had a Steph Curry shirt on. It's gonna be. It's gonna be <laughs> it's, hey, I go think I could do Any nigga, <laughs> any nigga at that time, <laughs> any nigga at that time with a Steph Curry or a Clay Thompson jersey on, you was getting smacked just because. <laughs> Bro, it's gonna be it's like good. it's gonna be like the 14, 15, the 14, 15 year old. Bro, remember, remember the uh the cast parade somebody was shooting? They were shooting when they want, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. I I got the video, I got the video. It was me chugging jig, bro. We we like man. Oh, like, I remember y'all sent me that. Yeah, we on like West 8 by Subway, whatever. We just see like a whole group of white people just running. Like it's about like 500 white people scared running towards it. You know, black people see people running, we run. So like mm-hmm. I, I'm running in the video, like you can hear a chuck like ring, where you going? Where you going? I'm telling him, like, bro, them niggas running. I'm like, bro, they running, so you gotta run too. He like, wait on me. I'm I'm gone. Like, man, we get like we get around, we get home. They say it was like Three people got shot. I'm like, man, bro, like. Please, I think somebody died. 
Yeah, we, we can never have fun. Our city can never have fun. Right by the, it was like right over in the casino area, bro. Was where they where they got shot at, bro. So like, exactly. and that's supposed yeah. to be the safe. That's supposed to be the safest part of Cleveland. Exactly. Yeah. So like, I don't have no. I would like. I, I would. Downtown like, supposed to be the most protected. Like, I would really. buy a ticket to go to the All Star Weekend. Like, I would, but I just know it's gonna be something. And I, gonna you be know, I think we should do. Oh, uh, y'all niggas ain't got no cars, do y'all? I do. I don't see nobody. Had, we had to do something like that, bro. We had to just put in on like money for like a parking ticket in the garage, bro. I ain't trying to go to the street. Of course, I want to go to the street and see shit, but like, bro, we know shit gonna happen if we go out there and start walking. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's gonna and it ain't gonna be be people are a. It's gonna be like the 14. You know, it's always the 14. Yeah, it's gonna be little kids and shit. Bro. Yeah, like it's it's gonna be. Shit, I crazy. think everybody gonna be out next year. Everybody will be downtown. That's what I'm for saying, sure. bro. Like niggas that don't even really watch basketball is just gonna be down there because everybody gonna That's be. That's what I'm saying. People, people gonna be playing the ride. People, people gonna be. Just, it's, just, it's just gonna be all type. It's of gonna key. be so many licks next year. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be just ridiculous. so much. It's gonna be wild. Which is why I'm glad I got credit cards and not money in my. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can just get some. Hey, shit. it's gonna be. It's gonna be so many bitches that's just down there to just look. Yeah, it's gonna, gonna be crazy. Look, look how many about to fly out here next year to Cleveland, bro. All the hotels already getting booked. Hey, but you want to know what's crazy, though? I was thinking about getting my All-Star ticket already. <laughs> I'm, I'm a already. You, it's going to be you, next year, man. I'm going to tell you what's so funny about it. The All-Star game be, like, in February, right? February. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you like can't around pre around Valentine's Day, for You real. can't predict yeah. Cleveland weather. <laughs> it could be. It it's it's going to be cold. It could be the craziest snowstorm ever. Shit. It would be, like, the same shit in Chicago. That's what I so like everybody yeah. playing all this and we don't know what's gonna happen, bro. They That's don't the only care, reason bro. I haven't even bought my ticket yet because you don't know you don't know if they're gonna delay the flight if I try to come home and it's gonna be cold as fuck around. Right, that it, could, time. it could be it could Anything be a snowstorm and it could take us like two yeah. hours to even get downtown in the first place, bro. Or it might just be nice enough in Cleveland around All Star Weekend. It'll be warm that's weather because you know that's true. it's bipolar. One oh, day, it, bro, that's, that's what I'm saying. Knowing how the world works, bro, and how the universe is just so crazy, bro, it, it can go so many ways, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Cleveland is bipolar as a motherfucker. That's one of the cities that you don't know what's going to happen. Like, you always got to bring a hoodie or something, no matter what fucking time of the year it is in Cleveland. But that's something I wouldn't, that's something I wouldn't mind doing, though. Like, I would enjoy it if I, like, you know, like, I, I'm into that, though. I only, bro, we, we used to work at the Cavs stadiums, bro. Like, I only ever, like, Saw like one real Cavs game. Other than that, we just we was working when they was man playing. stop playing. This nigga crazy, bro. LeBron been playing for the Cavs. You for say years you only, only watch one, of that. one real Cavs game? I'm saying in, in live person. Like I'm oh saying, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. that seen probably three or four maybe. I see. I, I seen see when Kobe was uh the year when we was in ninth grade and Kyrie was here. We was ass and he couldn't carry a team. And Kobe, it was Kobe and Dwight on the Lakers and shit. Hey, if Kobe would have stayed healthy. With a healthy Steve Nash and a Dwight Howard before the back Ooh. injuries, that shit would have been stupid. They probably would have had another ring. They got put off by LeBron. Dallas, didn't they? Dallas or the Spurs? Yeah, no, they did lose to Dallas in the no. They, they lost got swept in the first round. No, nah, yeah, it was it was it was San Antonio. Yeah, because the Lakers. Was, that's when Kobe tore his Achilles. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the Lakers was uh eight. And the Spurs. The, the White Howard had a fucking broken back, bro. Yeah, he was still I remember putting that. Still put a yeah. seventeen and twelve. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I don't, I, ain't, I, I know about the series, but I ain't watched that though. I ain't watched. Bro, that. all you gotta know is the White had a broke back. Kobe tore his Achilles. Steve Nash was fucking forty. Man, Steve. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Steve Nash was trash that year, bro. I ain't that gonna year, lie. Yeah, I ain't yeah, lie. Yeah. Steve Nash whole career is overrated. We no, nah, we ain't doing that, bro. We're not doing all right, that. All right, let me let look. Wrong. Hear me out, bro. That. Let me let, hear me out. Hear me out. Top five point guards ever. Maggie Johnson's one. Steph Curry's two. Isaiah Thomas three. I fuck with Isaiah Thomas for sure. Come and on. After bro. that, the old Isaiah else? Thomas nigga, the Pistons. All right, come on, come on. My nigga right, got two Finals MVPs back okay, to back. Okay, all right, all right, we can. All right, all right. Listen, let's 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 do this. Bro, we is in our twenties, bro. We don't, bro. We don't know nothing about no Magic Johnson. And I mean, that's true. Bro, that's I true. watch hot. Bro, no, 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 no. I watch bro, highlights. Of I, niggas. bro, we I watch bro. full games. Only highlights bro, I watched was, was NBA TV, of course. But we only yeah, highlights I watched was Isaiah. You know, old niggas where they at, bro? <laughs> Let's talk. <laughs> bro, no, 
Isaiah Thomas beat Larry Bird, Magic Johnson. He beat That's Michael cool, Jordan. Bro. Back to, but that what you know? No, 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 no. That's nigga. cool, bro. Let your He's dad one of the give him his flowers, of all bro. Time. You can't bro. disrespect somebody like that, man. Bro, let your dad, bro. We need to get the people. We were talking about now, bro. Okay. Let's, let's leave Magic. Steph Curry though got five rings like Magic Johnson. He got three though. That's cool, bro. And he got two MVPs, but. He, don't have, he got a whole lot of one on finals MVPs. How the fuck did Eagle Dollar? Bro, LeBron was still averaging like 40 in the finals, bro. How did Eagle Dollar? He averaged a finals? triple dub and they still yeah, did. So, how did Eagle Dollar get there? <laughs> I mean, I'm, 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 I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't even put Curry my top four. If, Nigga, you're bro. smoking dick. What? Smoking dick. I don't like but, Curry. Uh, he, on, he's bro. the reason why basketball is the way it yeah, is. Yeah, the now. reason why basketball is the way it is right now I don't, is because I don't, of Stephen Curry. Bro, bro. You talk, if, you say, if you say point guard, I'm talking, we talking about point guard. I pick Chris Paul over him. <laughs> well, Chris, whoa. Chris Paul never averaged 30 in the season. It don't, we said point guard. We talking he, about he a Hall of Famer. We, he bro. a Hall of Famer. For, he, I, mean, I ain't going to hold you. I'm glad Chris Paul is on the Suns because the Suns is the second seed. With Bro, Chris Paul on that team now. Point guard. Hey, I'm so hurt this nigga said Steph Curry. Not nah, I but hate he's a top, Steph Curry is a top. Bro. He's a top five, bro. bro he's top no. two. He's if top I'm two, talking yeah. about if I'm talking about point guard, bro, like bro, point guard, like who you want to run your point? What? Who Steph gonna Curry? Make, who gonna make, who gonna make every, do you do you know his whole? Who's gonna, gonna make everybody team? around my team better, bro? Who's gonna make everybody around? Yeah, that's what I just said. Bro. I fuck with CP because the Suns Chris is better Paul, now because he's there. Chris Paul is gonna make everybody better, bro. We talking Chris Paul? That's not always true because he did make Blake Griffin better. Blake Griffin was already a great player uh, in the Clippers. If I'm, he if did I make DeAndre Jordan, he did make DeAndre Jordan. No, I'll, no I'll bro, bro, no, bro, bro, bro. Blake Griffin went from. Dunking and doing all this to actually have post moves. Actually, bro, Chris Paul is a mentor. That's he's a point guard. Yeah, yeah, I'm he's gonna, gonna tell lie, you bro. where you need to be and what you're I'm, gonna do and I'm, how I'm you're not gonna, gonna lie. do it, bro. If y'all paid attention to not the All Star game that just passed, but the one last year when it was actually competitive for Kobe, when LeBron sat down and Chris Paul got in, he facilitated that whole team and brought them. Bro. Like he he does that. Chris Paul does do that. Oh, listen, do, I watch yeah. Chris Paul get the ball and he'd be he like, hey. Yeah. But he's a ball hog. What? No, he averaged like 16 points. Yeah. He's a point guard. He has the ball in his hands every damn play. Listen, he's the facilitator. I like yeah. point guards, <laughs> bro. I like, I like, I like Darren Williams. I like Chris Paul. I like Rondo. I like you fuck with Darren Williams, but not Steph Curry. They damn near the same player. No, they not. Darren Williams is a score first point guard. He's not like a Chris Paul. Bro, Darren we Williams. We can bet money. We can we can bet money assists, on that. But he but he giving eight assists up. Eight nine. Steph two Curry assists. is two. No, bro. Steph, Steph Curry, Curry is five his six. His career assists. average is like eight assists a game. He not average no eight assists a game, bro. Curry don't average no eight assists, bro. Curry we wanna bet. We can bet right now. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to disagree. Steph only be putting up like five six assists a game. No, he don't, bro. He do, bro. We can, hold on. <laughs> No, I don't, look, I want to average. I want right to average eight assists about the score. Point guards like Dame Lillard. Dame always give you about seven or eight. Yeah, uh, Curry uh, averages. Dame, Dame don't average more assists than Steph. Yes, he do. Curry, look up, Steph, look up Dame. Look, Curry averages six point six assists a game. Wow, really? For his career, yeah. The look, most Dame, wow. Dame, Dame, been, Dame been averaging eight assists like the last two years and like thirty points. The most Curry ever averaged was eight point five. That was in two thousand thirteen. That's fucking crazy. Wow. Yeah, he, he, Dame Steph averaged really... 6.6 6 assists. Curry averaged 6.2. Ooh. Okay, yeah. So they, they like the same type of player. For, they, for real, for them niggas, is the same type of player. It's that, but Steph got Steph, more – he, he a better shooter. And, De, and Dame drive. Yeah, like his drive game, Dame drive game more powerful. We he, said, more, he more athletic. He, yeah, he, he more just explosive. is a good – he's – just as of a good shooter as Steph, but his drive game is way it's be better. Yeah, it's, it's more. But Steph is finished though. I Steph just like yeah, my yeah, point guards. Sure. I like my point guards to pass the ball, direct traffic, and play defense, bro. That's see, the thing I, is, that's what I want my bro, point guards to do. I'm the sorry. thing is, those good point guard, but the players that these teams draft niggas like Steph and Dane because they don't have exactly, players bro. that can get buckets like those niggas. They don't have players on these teams that get in those type of buckets. That's why they like, bro. You will never see a point guard ever like Steph Curry again. Facts. Never. 
Brett, that, like Brett, if Rondo was in the in the nineties, early two thousands, bro, Rondo he'll be a Hall of Famer. Bro, Rondo yeah. would be crazy, bro. He had like eight rings, bro. Rondo would be crazy. <laughs> he had like eight rings. Yeah. Rondo yeah. was if the bro was in the eighties and the nineties, bro have like eight rings. Easy. You think Easy. so? I'm Easy, so, bro. Easy. Bro would have just as many rings as Jordan. Just I mean MVPs and defensive player of the years because Bron can guard. It wasn't a player like it wasn't a player like LeBron back then. They but you seen but, that? But, like, listen, you know. there's never been a player like LeBron ever. Only person you can compare is like Scottie Pippen. But Scottie Pippen nowhere near the score. But though, listen, LeBron. this this why I'm gonna have to this why I'm gonna have to question that because we all know LeBron needs shooters around him. That's it true. wasn't that everybody does, bro. Jordan but, but has listen. John passing Steve Kerr. Uh, Fucking Tony Cool Coach, everybody. Okay. Needs All right, listen, that's Kobe, cool. Kobe has Sasa Vujacic, Paul Gasol, Steve Nash, Derek Fisher. Niggas that's that cool. Shoot. All mm-hmm. that's cool. But we talking about LeBron, bro. LeBron, LeBron need like LeBron gonna need his shooters to score at least. 40. Kobe need a shot. Kobe never won a ring without. Yeah, a listen, bro. Let me let me let me, let me get my point. Let, let me say Don't my point, that. bro. Don't no, I that. have to. I have to. He bro, I love LeBron, bro. I love Pitt. LeBron, bro. Listen, bro. Come on. LeBron needs shooters, bro. Michael Jordan. Everybody needs somebody, bro. It's not just LeBron. But, but this is why I don't see LeBron back then because there wasn't no J.R. Smith. 8270, nigga. There's, no, there's nobody then, right now, nor ever to guard LeBron. Ever. So this nigga, is, he's 36. He's still the fastest nigga on the court at 36, bro. He got three kids. In the white, he already bro, he ain't trying to let me life. get my point across because he know what I'm saying, bro. Bro, listen, who who back then was a knockdown like who was knockdown shooters, bro? Who was yeah? Knockdown? It was a, it a was Dale a, Curry, a no, Dale no, Curry. No, listen, nigga. listen, listen. The way shooters you, is now, you Dale know, Curry. Back then, back then, Dale Curry was a career forty percent shooter. But, no, but back then they was called three point specialists. Like now you have hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. Wait, so you think if LeBron had Dale Curry on his team and he was facing Portland in the West, that was going to put him over? Bro, there, I don't think there would have been no team in the East or the West back then besides the Magic, the Pistons, and maybe the Celtics the that would have got LeBron's way. The Knicks, the Panthers. No. What? Patrick Ewing would have got Patrick- up by LeBron, nigga. Oh my. Bro, it wasn't just Patrick Ewing. He had James. St- oh, my God. Bro. John Starks was like six four, bro. Compared but, to the but he was like that. Line. He was like that, though. You you seen Jordan? He was like that. He had Jordan like Jordan is six six, two hundred pounds, bro. Oh, Bron is six God. nine, two seventy. Come All on, right, bro. it's a weight. It's it's different, bro. What team are you putting around LeBron that he can beat? The trailblazer. I'm putting him around one ISO score, the Phoenix a, Suns, a big who can stretch the floor and. Two shooters. What big was stretching the floor back then, though? No, nobody. It wasn't no big. It wasn't that many big stretching the floor. It wasn't. Yeah, it, it wasn't that. Many. I'm talking about. Period. It, it was. It, it wasn't I'm not no stretch the floors, past. I'm talking about period. So, but we saying back then. So if Brown put, if Brown, okay, let's say the big men, they in the post. If Brown get a ball down in the post, then they gonna double team. Can Brown knock down that shot like Michael Jordan? Consistently, hey Remy, you know Michael Jordan wasn't that much of a better of a shooter. Than I know that. You, you I know, know that, that, right? But he hit it when it counted. Kill LeBron hit it when it yes. counts, bro. You know how I many clutch shots yeah, LeBron's yeah. career he's no, made, bro. bro. Stop. No, hey, stop. No, I hate when niggas no. lie like that. LeBron, bro, LeBron, LeBron is my favorite player, bro. LeBron, bro, LeBron, LeBron has more clutch shots than Jordan. Bro. Exactly. Has more clutch okay, shots cool. Than Jordan ever right. in his career. Facts. So yeah, he he's done it more than Jordan. Facts. But but here's what but here's why I'm gonna get you. Every oh, time, oh. but listen, don't look, Le, don't LeBron always make the best pass? Don't he always pass up? The that's shot? true. That's true. Bron is a Bron he's is a, a play, bro. bro. Bron is a point forward. I got Bron you. I got you. Bro, bro. He it, was it, gonna pass it years later, and niggas still not realizing that LeBron's a pass first fucking player, nigga. Exactly. So what I'm so, telling you is so 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 let, let, let's talk straight basketball shit. You have the ball at the elbow in the post, and niggas about to double team you. You see your teammates in the corner in the open shot, and it's three seconds left. You're not gonna pass nigga the ball. I'm, I'm passing, wide yeah, open I'm shot. Passing. You are, but who's passing. gonna be okay. out there? So, Dale so, Curry. So, 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 so answer this. So answer this. Answer this. 
Why do niggas glorify Michael Jordan and Kobe taking tough ass, difficult, not good shots, and they shame LeBron for passing okay, up now a good it. shot okay, now, for a great now, shot? Now that now don't make in, sense. Now we that in this sense. now we in this century. We was talking about the eighties and nineties. Okay, now I'm talking about period. I'm talking about period. No, we can't. We can't do that, bro. Cause then I'm, then I'm gonna shit on LeBron. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, bro. I, but I, I hate nigga shit on LeBron. But y'all don't shit on Kobe and Michael for their deficiencies, and they are horrible shot selection. Like Kobe's shot selections was horrible. That's true. For real, he yeah. took contested shots, but they glorify that. LeBron makes the right play. And they be like, oh, he didn't take the contested shot. This shots. is why he's Nigga, the best player. Sense. This is why LeBron is the best player I've ever seen play basketball because he thinks with the mental I'm mind instead of trying to be that. Yeah. This I'm going to tell you. Somebody I'm understands, bro. I'm going to tell you why, bro. If it don't make. Jordan, Jordan and Kobe, they were great players. Their IQs were not that listen, great, bro. bro listen, listen. LeBron. I'm going to tell they you why. Worked. It's about money, bro. It's about yeah. money, bro. If 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 ESPN and in, in all all these t- places, if all they did was praise LeBron about how great they is, would you really watch ESPN? <laughs> yes, I would, nigga. I'm a LeBron fan. <laughs> like, would you really like? Okay, but like, let's say everybody like, do you really just want to see? How, oh yeah, LeBron's great, or do you want to do turn... it with Jordan every fucking day? But listen, so why listen, not LeBron? Let I'm gonna tell you why. I just said because it's about money, bro. Back then. It wasn't that much money in the NBA. Like, look at how much they was getting paid, bro. They wasn't getting paid that much. Yeah, remember what? Man. Remember? Listen, remember yeah, what? That nigga Jordan had a, a shoe deal in his second or third year. He had bro, hella commercials on TV. Listen, that nigga still got NBA money probably to this day. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. Skip Bayless get paid eight million a year to talk about LeBron, bro. He get paid <laughs> eight million a year. Nobody was getting paid that much money to talk bad about Michael Jordan. Oh, yeah. It's it's all about money and headlines, bro. That's all they. It's all, bro. Le, bro, LeBron never gonna get his flowers, bro, because they because they trying to compare him to to Michael Jordan, bro. They in two different lanes. Exactly. Jordan is a he he the scorer first. LeBron is the like the all around team player. Mm-hmm. So it, it, it always gonna be in two different lanes. And it's so that's wild how, because that's he, how they want it, though, you, bro. They want it, it. bro. You you was just about to say it, bro. The nigga he's still gonna give you twenty seven a game. Yeah, he's still gonna give you the twenty seven. He shoot, nigga. He be making like six threes a game now, but the nigga average like ten assists. That's the, you, you can't Jordan. Do, Jordan could have never had, Jordan. Jordan never had the pressure of leading whole organizations, bro. Listen, never. If never LeBron, had a personal LeBron, LeBron, how many fine, how many fans has LeBron been in? Ten. Ten. If LeBron went ten for ten, they would say, "Oh, he playing in the soft." No, he no, they wouldn't, yeah. bro. Yes, no, they, they would not give him his flowers, bro. If, if, if LeBron, LeBron won, if LeBron won ten rings, they use an excuse. They would. They would be, "Oh, he always needed bro, help. every every finals he won is an excuse." Oh, he had Ray Allen. Oh, he had Kyrie. That's Allen what I. That's, that's, yeah. what yeah. that's what I'm AD, saying. He had AD. Yeah. So even even if Bron did was ten and zero, if, if AD didn't have LeBron, he wouldn't have went to the finals. If AD didn't have LeBron, he would be in the lottery every fucking year. Yes, man. and I love AD. AD probably, bro. Since I was in eighth grade, I said AD was my favorite big man. When he was in Kentucky, I'm like, I never, I'm like, damn. Hey, AD, when he came out of Kentucky to the league, he was so fucking skinny, bro. I swear, he got is. so Look. big. He didn't got like big within the last four years. AD didn't got swole, yeah he got he, yeah bro. he got swole and he became a better player. He became a stretch. He shoot better. He used the post. He don't he don't do just he layup. never used to shoot, bro. No, he, he, he didn't, came bro. out of he came out of Kentucky, bro. His first three seasons, he never took a he ain't really he, shoot, when bro. he first started shooting. He started shooting mid range. Yeah, was, hey, if, you shot, if you shot a three with helmet on two K twelve, you was a goofball. <laughs> I remember <laughs> I remember <laughs> watching uh. Kentucky. <laughs> I remember watching Kentucky in Ohio State. I think it was like in the Elite Eight. That nigga was dominating. I swear. Oh I forgot who that was. That nigga was dominating. It wasn't Jaron Seliger on Ohio State. I forgot who they, uh, number, number two. Demarcus Cousins was a beast too, though. Number 23 was like the best player on Ohio State in that point guard. Remember the white point guard? Aaron Crabb. Aaron Crabb. Yeah, 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 yeah. bro. Man, bro, Anthony Davis, Anthony Davis was dominating Ohio. I think it was like the Elite Eight or C Sweet Sixteen, bro. I was crying. Like, bro, you know how many blocks AD was getting in college, bro? He I'm was like, bro, whoever, whoever hey, you know what I mean? Blocking the nigga be getting in the regular season. Yeah, now he's like, like a leader blocker. I think now he averaged like two or three a game. But in college, I, bro, he averaged like I five think, or don't six. He got, a month. Don't he got a defensive player of the year on his resume? 
No, he got he got hold by uh Giannis. They that was real. That was real. That's what I'm. That that's what I'm serious. saying, bro. That, that's bro, It's politics, bro. LeBron, it's, a, it's hype. Bro, it's hype. Le, LeBron should win the MVP every year if we being honest. If we being Anthony honest, Anthony Davis bro. is a much better player than Giannis. LeBron, LeBron is in the finals every year, but how he don't win MVP every year? I don't even. I mean, you you know, you team, know dude. I, these teams would not make it to the finals without LeBron. I I like Giannis kind of like I, I like playing with him on. Yeah, two. I like, on 2K, he, yeah, on 2K, he's a dog. Like, oh yeah, on, on the K, he's a he an animal. He's crazy, but as as a part, yeah, as a player, no, nah, I don't like dude. He's not like, my top five. He like he like a he remind me of like Kevin Garnett that can't shoot or something. <laughs> like, oh, he oh boy, <laughs> Kevin Garnett, boy, stop! Don't be disrespectful. That man was some. No, nah, bro, my bro, my favorite team was the Celtics growing up. That's the thing. I like the Celtics. Nah. I ain't gonna lie. Like I ain't gonna lie. Paul Pierce is one of the most overrated players ever. That All nigga right. could not lead a team. I'm about to. I'm gonna tell you the truth, I, I, man. I, I, I ain't like. Paul I gotta Pierce go to bed man. now, bro. I gotta to do it tomorrow. You bugging, hey, bro? What? He, listen, without Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen, nigga, he would have no rings, bro. Exactly, yeah. but don't act like Paul Pierce ain't the truth, though. Don't act like he's not. He's not. What? Hold he's on. Not. He's not Hold the on. truth, bro. Hold on. Bro, get, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Remy, give me a second. Give me a second. All that right. nigga was not going to the playoffs for consecutive years. Okay. How are you the truth? I'm going to tell you why you're the truth. Because when he was facing Brian, he was putting 43 on Brian. Hey, he had know. Kevin Garnett and Ray <laughs> Allen, my nigga. How, how many points Garnett had and, how, and Ray Allen? How many Paul Pierce had? Hey, so Paul, Paul Pierce was putting so, 40 so, and 30 on Brian. So when, head. so when other niggas have help, y'all love the shit on LeBron. When LeBron get help, y'all be like, oh, LeBron had help. You can't really take that into Bro, why you saying y'all and I'm a LeBron fan, bro? No, <laughs> you don't sound like a LeBron fan, my nigga. <laughs> no, I'm just a real. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> no. real, bro. You're not sounding like the game bro, right now, man. When they, when they be like, everybody know that the 2008 series was, was Brown versus Pierce, bro. Who won, bro? Look who had who the nigga had Ray Allen, one of the greatest shooters, and Kevin Garnett, one of the greatest power forwards Bro, ever. I yeah. just told you, you Paul like Pierce was playing 40. What 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 can't your partner say? 40 piece lemon pepper wing. <laughs> I, <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro, Paul Pierce was putting 40 on Brian Head, bro. I ain't bro, even you, thinking about the stats. You're not pushing into a perspective, and you're not I am, contact. bro. He has a Look at the team that he had. Look at who LeBron had, bro. Bro, it was who LeBron. Was Paul, who, who was going Paul, Paul Pierce besides LeBron on the cast? Devontae okay. West, nigga? No, it was. Jameson, nigga? Who else? Sasha no, no, Patrick, not, nigga? Not, not, the niggas that Cavs had, bro. We're not talking about that year. We're not talking about that year. If we talking about that year, that's the year Rondo killed. That's the year Rondo killed. Who was guarding Rondo? Mo Williams? Mo Williams. The niggas we bro, had on our teams bro, was, was you, high school janitors. You compare Mo Williams to Rajon Rondo, that, bro. That that's the point, nigga. Bro, that's the point. But Mo Williams was averaging Mo Williams seventeen. Mo Williams, Mo Williams was ad- averaging seventeen, bro. He's still not a better player than Rajon Rondo. And he was averaging seventeen, and they was the number one team in the league. So <laughs> who's going to a Hall of Fame and who's not? You think Rondo going to the Rondo going? For sure, Rondo's my favorite player sure. ever. Okay, okay, but you he's acting like sure. okay, but you acting like Rondo was putting up thirty on Mo. Williams. He didn't have to. He, he didn't have to. Nigga, Magic Johnson never averaged more than 20, 21 points a game. Nigga. So if Rondo, wait, 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 wait. So you saying Rondo was cooking Mo Williams, right? And, and he didn't yeah. have to score thirty, but Paul Pierce. Was scoring thirty, but he wasn't. But he's known as a scorer, though. Rondo's okay. not known as a scorer, so you know that's not his role. Paul Pierce, yeah, you you're a good scorer, but you also got one of the best shooters and one of the greatest power forwards ever. At so your positions is locked. You got a great a, a young a point guard, a big three <laughs> from the guard position to the four position. What's Paul you- Pierce dropped fifty on Brian. <laughs> 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 bro, I love LeBron, bro. Bro, listen, bro. It broke Paul my heart. Paul Pierce overrated, bro. I'm sorry. No, he what, bro? Paul Pierce is he's like overrated, bro. Top fifteen, he's is scoring all he time. TV. 
he be on TV talking so much shit, but he yeah, yeah. Got one Paul Pierce be hating, he bro. The final three he be, times. He be hating, but Paul Pierce is top I asked fifteen all time. I'm sorry. He been to the finals twice. He top fifteen in scoring, bro. He's top fifteen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Ooh. that's crazy, Yo, fuck, bro. Man. I he can't play, believe, hey, bro. He played twenty years in the league, nigga. You better be somewhere in the in the scoring ranks. The I fuck? Can't believe, I can't believe you acting like that, bro. No, because a lot of these niggas got these opinions, and they and their careers not that valid enough, bro. He's not even on a Kevin Durant or a Carmelo Anthony or a Kawhi Leonard statue. Who, Paul Pierce? Nigga, Kawhi Leonard got Defensive Player of the Years, nigga. Two rings, two finals MVPs. Paul Pierce, you only been to the finals twice. And for real, he wasn't the best player in that series. It was Kevin Garnett, but whatever. Bro, you're not about to sit here and tell me Paul Pierce ain't the truth, bro. Shaq no, he's not, bro. Truth. He's not. Shaq he's taking Paul Pierce over. <laughs> taking Paul Pierce over Carmelo Anthony. Who me? No. Um, no. No. How you gonna no. how you gonna ask me? How you gonna ask me? Nigga. Melo will, will shit on Paul Pierce on. the best day. Hold on, look. I'm going to tell you why. Why, Melo, nigga? Melo with the brains, nigga. Hold on. Stop I'm gonna playing. That Melo was different. Hey, uh-huh. listen. New York, New York, Melo, first year Melo, would have gave that nigga 60. All right, mm-hmm. listen. L- l- just give me two minutes. One day, I'm just. JD was shit on Paul hold on, hold on, listen. Career, listen, bro. One day, I'm just, I'm just watching YouTube. I'm like, I'm going to just. Watch a whole bunch of stuff to find stuff to talk about on the podcast. So they say 216-21. It say Melo was struggling in the Western Conference at home. I can't believe that. <laughs> I'm just wrote, look, Paul hold on, Pierce hold on. wasn't going. Hold on. Bro, oh Paul my Pierce God. wasn't going Come to on, the playoffs, man. Me, bro. Listen. So look, it say Chauncey Billups and JR showed up game three. Melo only had 12 points. All right, now nah, look. Listen, listen. Oh, uh, Remy, you 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 leaving shit out of context. Yeah, Chauncey <laughs> Phillips and J.R. Smith have to step up. Paul Pierce cannot score at all, and his team can win because he had Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen, bro. Are you gonna let me? So I watch Melo because I, I was watching. You you can look it up. I can I can send you the. Who so I'm you saying Melo is not better than, than, than let me let, let me let me explain, bro. Let me just explain. Let me explain. Oh my god, this is yeah, it's about to be. It's about to be. I'm watching Melo in the playoffs. Okay, they beat the Mavericks. All right, cool. They beat the Pelicans. They get to the Lakers. He show up game one in L.A. He he was giving Kobe. Him and Kobe was giving that work. It, it was like they both had. They was in their thirties. Second game, uh, they both showed up. The third game, they in Denver. Melo didn't show up. I'm like, yo, what's up with the boy? He's struggling. All right, cool. <laughs> you act like niggas can't struggle with playoffs. Oh, okay, okay, bro. Okay. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Just let me get to my point. So I'm like, yo, what's up with the boy? Like, this nigga Melo bugging. Like, come on, it's the Western Conference. Kobe giving, Kobe giving 30 every night. I'm like, all right, cool. This Kobe Bryant. You Melo, though. I remember watching the interview and Kobe said. But you. You Melo, you so you put Carmelo Anthony over a uh, Kobe Bryant. No, I'm not, you're not letting me get to my point. So I remember Kobe saying like Melo the hardest, you know, the toughest, toughest person he ever had to guard. But I'm watching Melo in these back to back Western Conference, and he just don't show up in the final moments. It's like Game Three he was missing, Game Six he was missing, Game Seven. And then a year, the next year, he was missing. I'm like, damn, they talk about Melo. We make all these clutch shots. He phoned against Kobe. Paul now, Pierce wasn't uh, going to the playoffs, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Come hold on. on. Oh, my God. So, <clears throat> so I'm just like, damn, this nigga Melo, all right, cool. But I'm just thinking about it like, if I'm not mistaken, Shaq called Paul Pierce the truth because in the fourth quarter, he put that work in. If I'm not mistaken, Paul Pierce was hitting daggers since – Daggers was made in Vampire Diaries. Like, bro, Paul Pierce been <laughs> doing this. Paul Pierce been putting in work. Bro, do you want to go, bro? Bro, I've go? never Cause seen. Cause bro, Paul, bro, Paul Pierce been yeah, putting bro. in work. I've never seen Paul Pierce fold in the fourth quarter. I've never seen him fold in the fourth quarter. You never watched basketball. Look up Paul Pierce right now. Paul Pierce, the high pick and roll. He get that ball. He go right to the right ring. Step back. Cash. Look it up. Bro. 
he the truth. Went a four year stretch, he in his prime, he wasn't going to the playoffs for one. That's one. Two, he wasn't even making out the second round when he was going to the playoffs. In the week Easter conference, he either wasn't going to the playoffs or he wasn't getting past the second round in the week East. Who That's was Paul two. Pierce playing with? Who Name me one player Paul Pierce was playing with before he right, was who was LeBron playing with his first seven years in, in fucking I can, Cleveland? I can Ohio. name probably everybody. Look, this is so fucking Papovich, Look, Ira, Newell, Eric like, Snow. This is the difference. This is the difference. I can name who LeBron was on LeBron team. You can't name who was on Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce, Pierce was playing with another all-star, Antoine who? Walker. What who? are you talking about? Antoine Walker. He was an all-star, nigga. Okay, what happened to him after? Where did he go? What happened? He started getting fat and he blew all his money. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. And now he on Fox Sports. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Bruh, you t- you, did you just say everybody need help? They criticize Braun for needing help? So why you criticizing Paul Pierce for having Ray Allen and Garnett? Because it's different because a nigga like LeBron only oh, you the <laughs> only 22 years old in the Cleveland, Ohio. He is his third year in the league. He was 22. He went to the finals with a nigga named Ira Newboy Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just said you hate when people get on LeBron for needing help. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he had Drew Gooden. Hey, what was yeah, that one dude? He had Drew Gooden. Hey. The one, <laughs> hey, what was the one dude with the braids? His name was like Marshalls or something. I hated him, bro. Eric Snow, Larry Hughes. Oh my god, I'm good, bro. You, you, you right. But I'm Daniel Gibson. He tried, bro. But you, you can't sit here and say you criticize. Don't criticize LeBron for needing help when Paul Pierce got help. When he, Paul Pierce least, never played with nigga named Sasha Papovich, nigga. What are you talking about? You can't name what nobody you, else he played with, though. All you can say is Antoine Walker. Did they have Chauncey Billup or they traded Billups? I think they traded Billups. They traded Chauncey. Yeah. I think for Antoine Walker. So you 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 can't do you can't be like you can't pick and choose, bro. You can't pick. Oh, uh, bro. You can't hey, say man, that's hilarious, though, man. <laughs> you can't play with nigga Ira. You really put sixty-eight overall niggas on LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> you can't give Kobe props bro, for that man. LeBron more older. Like Junis Ogalskis, bro. He had foot injuries for fourteen years, bro. Bro, you can't give Kobe props for having people like Paul Gasol, Andrew Bynum, and a Lamar Odom. Yeah, then, that, then, that 2010 Lakers squad was wicked, bro. Then, hey, was wicked, nobody bro. criticized Paul Pierce for having, or just criticized, or criticized Dwight Lamar Howard for Odom having who he had. You can't do Lamar that. Lamar Odom would have been like Ben Simmons right now. That's who Ben Simmons is, a big ass Lamar Odom who can't shoot. Lamar Odom bigger than him. You mean more athletic? No, I think Ben Simmons. Ben no, they might be the same size. No, I brought Because they both was like 6'11, 6'10. I thought Simmons was like 6'8. Yeah. No, nigga, he bigger than Brock. Swear. The fuck? He don't look like it. Hell no, he don't. Not like size. I think it's just height. He's big. He's taller than Brown. I mean, he not bigger because nigga only like 2'20. Yeah. He's 6'11. Yeah. Damn. And playing what? Yeah, so Simmons a big motherfucker, bro. So he the same size as Durant, right? Basically, yeah. Durant's seven foot. They say he's six. He's like 16 and a half or some shit like that. He yeah. taller than DeAndre Jordan. DeAndre Jordan's six six eleven. Bro, he was standing next to DeMarcus Cousins and DeAndre Jordan. It was taller than both of them niggas. But on every 2K, KD want to be 6'8". Yeah, big, yeah, big Ben Simmons is bigger than Lamar Odom. What the fuck, bro? But yeah, you can't do, you can't pick and choose who you want to criticize for who got help, bro. But nobody criticized Paul Pierce for having help. You just said he ain't start doing nothing until he got help. LeBron was doing shit even before he had help, though. So, so you can't do that. Dude, guess what? I know niggas like Dwayne. Okay, I can't say Dwayne Wade because he he was. He had Shaq winning the ring, so. But Dwayne Wade was still a great player, though. Even without Shaq. Paul was, Pierce was great, too. Help, Dwayne Wade was still going to the playoffs, for real. Bro, you act like Paul Pierce was averaging 13 points, bro. No. 
He's just a nigga who can score, who don't play defense. He's not athletic. He don't. Re- he's not really a passer. Paul so Pierce can I'm play defense, scoring, bro. I'm starting to score. What is Paul Pierce? Paul Pierce can play defense, bro. Yeah. Nigga, not for real. He's not. Let me look at his. Stats. He's not guarding a nigga like Bron or KD or Kobe. He was, he was guard. But he was guarding Bron. He can't bro. shut them down, nigga. LeBron you know can't. I mean? LeBron can't shut nobody down. LeBron wasn't shutting Paul Pierce down, obviously. LeBron has a better chance of shutting down Paul Pierce than Paul Pierce shutting down LeBron. Bro, stop. Kobe will have a better chance of shutting down Paul Pierce than Kobe shutting down. Than, I mean, the, yeah, Kobe have a better chance of shutting down Paul Pierce than Paul Pierce shut down Kobe. Bro. So Durant. Same with a lot of niggas. Bro, if Paul Pierce was... So who, who was scoring these points, bro? Ray Allen wasn't averaging 30, bro. Yeah, he yeah. He was Ray averaging Allen. like 18, 17, 18. Yeah. He's a Ray catch and shooter, dude. Yeah. What yeah. you mean? I'm looking at this, bro. Paul Pierce was averaging 20, bro. KG was too. Okay, they, so, Ray Allen was averaging like they, 17. They said LeBron started a super team. Nigga, the Celtics had four all-stars. You feel me? Bro, the Lakers had four all-stars in like 04. Nigga, yeah, when you, when you watch the 2009 and 10 all-star game, nigga, the Celtics had four players in that motherfucker. Come on, bro. And they said LeBron started this shit. That was Hell, six. Bro. Celtics had some shit. Garnett, Garnett was averaging 14. Really? In the OA season when they won? Possibly. And 08, he was averaging 15, 15.8, so 16. Never. This yeah. nigga was averaging 30 a game in Minnesota. Then when he got to Boston, he took like half the that, shot. That, 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 was like Kevin, that was like Kevin Love. Kevin Love was in Minnesota averaging 26 and 15. Coming to Cleveland, averaging 15. But like they, made, they made K Love a spot up shooter. I bro. bought LeBron and Kyrie. Garnett, the, Kyrie most, the most Garnett the ever averaged was 24. <clears throat> really, nigga? Yeah, so from 2007 to 2000. Hold on, time out, time out. Don't Kevin Garnett got an MVP? Uh, yeah, or I think yeah, he, he robbed out of one. No, I think Wait, I, think I think he, he won that bitch. He probably won that bitch before the Boston Little Big Four thing, though. That's what I'm saying. When he was in Minnesota, he got an MVP. So his highest point total is 24. I think it is in almost average 30 a game. Yeah, 20, 2003, he averaged 24. Right, so wow. yeah, though, like, so he took a back seat to Paul Pierce. All of them did, <laughs> bro. If we being serious, Kevin Garnett is a better Pierce player. Than, he's a better player than Paul Pierce. No. Ray Allen in his prime in Milwaukee and Seattle was a better player than fucking Paul Pierce. So why, why did these niggas taking back seats to Paul Pierce? What you mean, why? You know why? <laughs> <laughs> you you get to- what I'm saying, bro? Like. Kevin Garnett's a better player than, than Paul Pierce. It, Why are I you they, they taking less shots than they, they treated him like, like, think about it. Like when KD went to the Warriors and uh, when the, when Splash, Splash Brothers were struggling in the playoffs, KD was putting up 40, 35 a game. But, I'm a t- but, but when KD went to the Is Warriors. Is KD better than Steph? I think so. Uh, uh, I, I don't think the Warriors will have three rings if Kevin Durant wasn't over there. How about this? I mean, but they are one win. When Durant... Before. That's when true. Du- when Durant when went we to the- won, when we won after that, the Warriors realized they couldn't beat us. I'm gonna go get KD. When du- when Durant went to the Warriors, I feel like he thought Curry was gonna take a back seat to him. But what he didn't realize is this: like I'm Curry, like <laughs> like I'm gonna get, I'm gonna put up what I put up. With you know, fucked up. <laughs> it's Steph easy. Was still take Steph was still taking a back seat to this nigga. They he still was still yeah. him. And, Cl- and Clay did too. Clay was averaging like 19, maybe barely 20. 20, 20 yeah, 20 at yeah, exact. Nobody took. They was trying to take back seats to this nigga, and they were still accidentally scoring 30. I ain't going to lie. That, like, that's one thing. One thing I wish I – like, if I could take stuff back, I would want to go back these last three years. I want, I want Clay to be healthy. I want to see what Clay – I swear to God, right Clay now. is one of my – Clay is probably, like, one of my favorite players I've ever seen. Bro. I Clay, think if Clay didn't tear his ACL, he would have went to L.A. Clay, bro. I don't think so. He not – no, no, Him and Steph going to stay on the same team, baby. But Clay is an animal, bro. He do. He, I wouldn't say he, forever. Bro, Steph, dude, Steph, he knows Steph gonna shoot most shots. But Clay, when Clay realized that Steph fucking up some games, Clay be putting up 40 easily. Clay, I is tell more niggas that Clay Thompson's a superstar for real. He yes, he's star. more consistent, bro. Clay, Clay, dude, if he was shooting as much as Steph, Clay will average 30. 
Clay Thompson a, 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 a better version of Ray Allen. And he was on a, yes, he was on an all defensive team, bro. He's a bro, that nigga is different, bro. Only thing he and don't like do is dribble a lot. Clay Thompson a better version Clay of Ray Allen. Ray Allen was 16 and three quarters. Ray Allen, Ray Allen was way more is way. I think Ray Allen way more athletic than Clay Thompson, though. Well, yeah, yeah. but he don't got better defense. Not even close. No, Clay was on an all defense team. Nah. Clay, Clay definitely got better. If, if Clay healthy, bro, the Warriors the Warriors title is with Clay healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let a nigga come back averaging 20 next year. I hope he do. Clay is my nigga. I need him back playing. Don't have to. I need him back playing. One of them getting traded. I, I tell I tell niggas this all the time, bro. Paul George the overrated motherfucker. <laughs> we hate we hate Paul George. So yeah, we, 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 ain't gonna discuss, anything, we ain't gonna discuss PG. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even about to say nothing. I'm just about to say I hate Paul George, bro. I, I hate, hate Paul say, George. All I'm gonna say is side of the backboard. That's all. I'm gonna That's tell you. Thing. I'm gonna tell you why I hate, I hate Paul George because like. I can see the snake in him. I don't know why. I, I just feel like I know he a snaky person, bro. Not even that. I, no, I feel like he a good nigga. Real talk. I'm going to give him a little bit of kudos. He, he probably a good person. He didn't even know he wiped the stripper. He got kids with him. That's another point. No. But, but, but I'm going to just say this. He has such arrogance that he's just a this great of a player. That's what I'm bro, saying. Bro, you have not done a thing in this league to you, feel you, like – you know what's what's so crazy about that, bro? I watch Paul George. I watch Paul George watch. I watch Paul George watch Kyle Corver <laughs> and Tannen Fry come back <laughs> and beat him. Bro, not K Love and, and Kyrie. He let Channing Fry, Kyle Corver, Darren Williams, and fucking I think Amon Shumper. I watched it, bro. I, bro, it was it was on it was on TNT. I would never forget. It was on. That's TNT. one of LeBron's greatest playoff games. It was on TNT. They was winning by like twenty six, bro. I'm watching this with my own eyes. Like, ain't no way, ain't no way, bro. I'm watching on fast break. Like everybody giving up. I'm like, bro, no way the Cavs come back, bro. I, who I don't know who hit that three. I know it's on the left side. I don't know if it was Shumper or Kyle Corver. when they hit that three and they went up and uh the Cavs went up by one. I was like. Yeah, that's Paul, that's Paul Paul George because Paul George could could have came to Cleveland. He said no, and I also feel like that was that showed people how expendable Kyrie and K Love was because they said like, oh, Brock can win a playoff game in a series. Well, both of y'all, hey, it's it's echoing. how valuable are y'all? It's echoing. Um, My shit, yeah, yeah, your shit is. It's still it's echoing. echoing. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. It's been echoing this entire time. For like three minutes. Turn my shit down. But that's that's crazy, bro. Like <laughs> and, and, and the and people that that favor players like him, oh. people that don't watch basketball, my nigga. I hate Paul George, bro. Bro, people that say People that be that saying like Paul George and all those players, them niggas do not watch basketball. It be little niggas that be loving those players. They don't be watching basketball, bro. I hate Paul George with a passion. I just be like, bro, you like he's Paul George. He supposed to be doing more. And I and who was we talking about before Paul George? Paul, bro, I would take Kawhi Leonard over fucking Paul Pierce. At what he, time though? Because Kawhi Leonard 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 Way better than the nigga who can just score. I don't, I don't know. I don't really care for Kawhi. I said Clay, one of my favorite players. He do both. I mean, I respect Kawhi. I'll man. take Clay Thompson over Paul Pierce. One hundred percent. Easy. No, you won't, bro. I will. He's a better defender than that nigga. He's a better shooter. But you, but you act like Paul Pierce not a playmaker though. Like, like he is. He's not, nigga. He probably averaged like three and a half assists for his career. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we talking about we talking about putting Paul Pierce in the post. Paul Pierce getting double teamed. Him making the pass. The nigga was like two forty, bro. Man, and then somebody Draymond else. Up. I take Draymond over that. All right, bro. I'm about to, all right. I got <laughs> some for you. I'm trying to be funny, though. Hey, bro. you made him Dray sick with that. Draymond, I'm trying to be funny though, bro. Dray Paul Draymond, Pierce, be bro. Up, Draymond be setting up plays, my nigga. You Draymond. Paul Pierce, bro. I'm sorry. Paul Pierce. 
he was I mean, shit before KG and Ray Allen. And he kind of really wasn't shit after. If he wasn't, why would they go team up with him? Actually, KG got traded there and Ray Allen got traded. But where they did never KG, went there via free agent? Where, where did KG say, I want to go, who I want to go play with? He was already rumored getting traded to Boston. He just waved his no trade clause, nigga. He was in Minnesota for like 13 fucking years of no playoff success. He wanted to go somewhere. Why would he choose Paul Pierce? It's a, he could have fenced Carter. Why did he choose Paul Pierce? Bro, who was this Carter at? In fucking New Jersey with Jason Kidd? Why wouldn't you go team up with them? So you shit on him for going with Paul Pierce. You would have shit on him when he was going with Jason Kidd and Vince Carter. Look no, you you the one did that. You the one talk about he team up. Hold on. Hold on. So if I send you an interview, if I if I send you a yeah, I'm I'm put my if if I send you something and Garnett say I wanted to go play with Paul Pierce. I knew he was, I knew he was, I, I wasn't going nowhere with Boston. I knew that motherfucker right there was the truth. If I send you that, what you going to say to me? What you going to say? If I send you the big ticket, the big ticket telling you he wanted to go play with Paul Pierce, what you going to say? I'm going to look at the nigga in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be like, like KG, my nigga. <laughs> You sure about this? That's crazy. You, you really, really got to nah. go here, bro. You got a no trade clause. You don't got to go here if you don't want to. Bro, okay. All right. All right. How about this? Remember the year Garnett tore his ACL? The, the uh, Celtics still went to the... uh. They still Damn, went to he the tore his ACL? Yeah. They went to the finals. You sure he tore his ACL, my nigga? He didn't tear like a, he tore his ACL. a bone bruise or something like... He tore his ACL. And remember, the Celtics went... They, the Celtics, they beat, I think they beat the Cavs, or? Never. They could not, they, they wouldn't have not beat the Cavs without Kevin Garnett. They, they, I, yeah. I don't think that's true. Yeah. In a playoff or regular season? Was it 2010? The year they lost, the year. Uh, if they, it was 2010, then we lost. Because we lost 4-2 against the Celtics. Um, and KG was like, playing. For LeBron left. He had to play that year because. The Lakers played against the Celtics, and KG was in the finals. Oh yeah! So how did he tear his ACL that season? This listen, bro. The Cel the Celtics played the Celtics and the Lakers played two times. 08, and they played in O ten. The one year Garnett tore his ACL. The one year Garnett tore his ACL. The Celtics. Bro, that, was, that had to be the year after because he played in both finals. Ooh, oh. KG. No, he didn't, bro. Bro, yes, listen. he did, bro. Bro, listen. He did play in both finals. It was with, bro. It was with, it was with she Wallace who was in his place, bro. I, bro, I watch it all the time, bro. I probably watch the two thousand no, finals. Kendrick Perkins was the only one that was hurt. Kendrick Perkins was hurt too. I promise you, Kendrick Perkins was the only one that was hurt, bro. So what? What year was Garnett out for the whole playoffs? I think that was like twenty eleven. Two thousand nine. Two thousand. 2009, like... So they didn't go to the finals? Wait. Come back. All right, yeah. 2009, they lost to they lost to the Magic. All right, In the playoffs, yeah. All right, yeah. All right. 2010, KG was there, I mean, for the finals. He wasn't there the year after. Because the, right. yeah, the year after, Miami, that's when LeBron and them, that's when LeBron and LeBron started going to the finals every year after that. So Bro, what? what's 2010 happened in the game? The only yeah. time he wasn't in the finals was the year he when he first was hurt. The Lakers. When he was hurt, yeah. They they beat the Celtics and they beat the Lakers one time and they lost one time. KG played both times. All right, hold on. They beat the Lakers in 08 and they lost to him in 2010 because that's when Kobe won his final ring. The only person who didn't play was Kendrick Perkins. Well, she was wasn't even on the Celtics then. No, he no, he was in that finals though, bro. KG played though. All right, yeah, all right, all right, facts, 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 facts. Oh, hey, we've been on this, we've been on this shit for three hours, y'all. All right, yeah, that's crazy. Never mind, my, my, my argument don't matter then because I was about to say, <laughs> I was about to say Paul Pierce took them without him, but he didn't, I guess. He shouldn't have won finals MVP the first fucking time. Why not, though? Oh, no, all right, look, I don't feel like he's a all right, look, he was their most valuable player. He wasn't. Are he you could have put anybody at Paul Pierce's position 
and they would have been just as fine, bro. bro. So who knocking down these shots that Paul, Be- Paul Pierce is knocking Ray down? Ray fucking Allen, the, one of the greatest shooters ever. So why wasn't he knocking them down? Why was they putting them on the They used to, bro, look how they were using. He was crazy. a spot-up shooter. Well, see, Ray Allen is not a... Not a what? Because he was an Ray, athletic splasher. No, and he, and Ray Allen, long. at that time, Ray Allen wasn't a, a person that can just, like, like, when it comes to the finals, you be needing them players that can size you up and score. Ray Allen wasn't doing that. I just watched you smoke, so I'm trying Okay, to in, in that respect, pass, I would bro. give it to Paul Pierce in that. Because he a good size of score. But outside yeah. of that, the nigga don't jump when he shoot. So... So how ain't nobody blocking his shots? How he still averaging 20? That's a great question I always wanted to know. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, we know everybody else is a LeBron hater, but it seems like you just hate Paul Pierce. Bro, for no, <laughs> reason, bro. no I just not I trying to get him his flowers, about shit about LeBron. Man, I'm going to take KD his bitch at, KD a bitch, too. But... All right. So, all right, wait, wait. So, you don't like Paul Pierce because what he said about LeBron and Dwayne Wade? He, I remember he said that he had a better career. He, he had a better, better career than Dwayne Wade. Wade. Yeah, I remember that. That was absurd because yeah, it's like, bro, yeah, facts. Dwayne Wade is shitting on you, player-wise. I, w- I would assume everybody would pick Dwayne Wade over Paul Pierce. But, but, so you, don't, but you don't think that Paul Pierce is a top 100 player all the time? By mm-hmm. default, he is. He said by default. Oh, this nigga's crazy. It's not that many great small fours ever to play the game. Yes, it so is, default, bro. Outside of LeBron, KD, Kawhi, Paul Hello. Pierce, Dominic Scottie Wilkins, Pippen, Larry Bird, oh, they, oh Chris damn, Mullen. I'm, I'm bro. It's a lot of it's Paul a Pierce. Of, a better player than Chris Mullen now. I, I I bet you Chris Mullen probably averaged more than him. I'm pretty sure he. Has it? I'm about to look it up. Chris Mellon was a dog, bro. That little white boy. At least Paul Pierce shitty, but he at least dropped 27 <laughs> on the nigga. Oh, at least Chris Mullen. The most Chris Mullen average was 26. But he Pierce he, definitely averaged more than that. He yeah. averaged 18 in his career. Paul Pierce. I'm a, I'm about to go back to it. Yeah, Paul Pierce. The most Paul Pierce average was let me see. 28. At least 28. 26. Ugh. I'm thinking that bitch ass nigga at least average his high is like 27. I mean, and you can't even get to 20, 27. I mean, if you round it off to 26.8, that, that's 27. It's basically 27. Yeah. Basically. That's what I do. Like, if it's at the high decimal, I'd be like basically 20 or 20. LeBron average is 27 right now. Back. But you, you, but you can't just. LeBron been it. doing that since rookie year. So <laughs> <laughs> high school, high yeah. school. That's crazy. You gonna sit here and not give Paul Pierce his flowers though, bro? I just say he was better than Chris Mullen. I can see if you was talking about Jalen Rose, cause Jalen Rose be saying some stupid stuff too, though, bro. He another one. At least, but at least with Pierce, Pierce got more accomplishments. I guess he was a better. Pierce was a better player than him. But how you going to sit here and just, that's, bro, Paul Pierce was giving buckets to He was not a better player than Carmelo Anthony. He was a better player than Kawhi Leonard. He wasn't a better player than Kevin Durant. He wasn't a better player than Scottie Pippen. He damn sure not a better player than LeBron Ramon Jack. That's cool, bro, but I witnessed Carmelo fold, bro. I witnessed him I fold. witnessed Paul Pierce not going to the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you was probably like three yeah, years bro. old when that's that happened, the, bro. That's the end of the conversation. Bro, you was probably three years old when that happened. You act like Melo. Oh, I'm like act, six, nigga. Don't act like Melo been to the been in the playoffs his whole career, bro. Ever since he came in the league, after his first two seasons at Denver, he's been to the playoffs ever since. But who he have around him though? He had good players around him. Paul Pierce didn't have good players until they till uh they came. I'll give you that. That is true. Hey, this whole time. I seen a nigga like LeBron who took bums named Daniel Booby Gibson to the finals. That, this whole time, if we going to say that, we if we going to say all this, we might as well give Allen Iris and his flowers. That nigga right called now. himself Daniel Booby fucking Gibson. That nigga bro. was garbo, man. If he was not shooting, the, bro, he was Don't do that, bro. Three point shooter, Booby Gibson, bro. bro. Booby Gibson, bro. Don't act like y'all weren't cheering for Booby like y'all was cheering for J.R. Smith, bro. Everybody like Booby Gibson coming off the bench for them three. I mean, 
No, we Nigga, did, bro. I got a he bobble head. Of, of he Danny was Green. only good like two or three minutes a quarter. And when he was shooting threes, bro, that nigga was when he was making his threes. Oh, that nigga was unstoppable. I ain't gonna fake with you. Unstoppable. That nigga couldn't pass the ball as a six-two point guard. Bro, Booty was play good defense. coming off the bench, bro. He was lightweight. Uh, Hold short on, ass nigga. Didn't Booby and LeBron single handedly beat Detroit that one year? No, LeBron. Yes, they did. It wasn't Detroit. It wasn't Booby, bro. Yes, it was Booby. That man's name is Booby Gibson. <laughs> I remember watching this as a kid, bro. Daniel Gibson, he had like he had like 20. No, seconds. don't say Daniel nigga. Say the <laughs> that man name is Booby. <laughs> oh no. That nigga. Booby Gibson, man. man. He, yeah, he had 31 points, bro. I remember Ooh. I remember this game, bro. This was in this was in the uh that nigga scored 30 like twice in his whole life. <laughs> that was the highlight of his life, my nigga. And, and dating Keisha Cole. He was a rookie, game six. Yeah, I remember I remember watching this game as a kid, bro. He had 31 points, 19 in the fourth quarter. Him and LeBron was going crazy, bro. The I highlight remember. of his career was he, he was married to Keisha Cole, bro. I'm about to try to watch this game tonight. I'm about to see if they got it. You made like a whole day song about dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't he do music too? He do? He man, he's shitty as hell, bro. His rap career is worse than his basketball career. Oh, God. <laughs> man, y'all about to act like Booby wasn't that. Booby was our second best player for real. <laughs> coming off that's the him. That's <laughs> how I can tell you right there. <laughs> Facts. You're, you're making a case for why LeBron is a go. Our well, second best player was Daniel Booby Gibson. LeBron, LeBron definitely is the goat to me, bro. I feel like, I feel like if you're gonna say bat, if you're gonna say who the greatest basketball player of all time, and we talking about somebody that could do everything, rebound, like bro, he he probably like top ten in everything, rebound, assist, points. Yeah. Like he's eighth in assists and he's third in scoring. Like how can you not say That's like wild, bro? If basketball is about doing, if he can do all the fundamentals and he's good at it, like. How are you not going to say he's the best? I don't get it. Oh yeah, they got him too. They they got the uh, two thousand six six Eastern Conference Finals. I'm about to watch these bitches tonight. Hey, in the uh, in the middle of this, at the end of this, I'm uh untangling this braid and it's stuck. I'm just acting like it's not stuck. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that was LeBron's third season. He was like 21, bro. He was 21 years old. Hey, I find it crazy how LeBron was had a was good at shooting earlier in uh, his career. Like, if you watch, like... Bruh, he was hitting half-court shots against Mill. I'm like, why do niggas say that My- Michael Jordan couldn't pull up like LeBron at all? LeBron, like, pull-up game? Was hey, remember, remember when he used, to do the, remember he used to do the thing, he used to do the move, like, he had uh, dribble like, eight times, like, put it between his legs, then oh, pull up. Oh, he still do that now. He be he do it slower. He do it slower. Yeah, even on a game and do that. Like when you size up with him, he'll look at his hand like. <laughs> he that's like, this that's he a used to just he three. He, he like, used to be like. Brian David the goat though, bro. Only people that don't think so are old heads and little niggas that don't watch basketball. You know Brian the goat because like they be they they. they I hate what little niggas say. Michael Jordan. I'm like, nigga, you ain't even never watched. Jordan. Niggas never even watched Jordan, bro. That's they don't even crazy. bring up. They don't even bring up Kobe though. Like, you don't even hear people bring up Kobe in a goat debate. They'd be like LeBron. I feel like Jordan. Michael Jordan, Kobe was is neck and neck. <laughs> I don't really even like to talk on Kobe because he was on the West Coast and I really never even saw him play for real. Instead of like games I watched and I'm like, all right, Kobe a dog. But like, like you said, he had a horrible. Shooting percentage. I watched Kobe go like twelve for forty three and score thirty six points and get praised for it. <laughs> like, like the like the games I was talking about. Uh, uh, the Lakers versus uh the Nuggets in the uh, Western Conference Finals. Like Kobe had like seventeen points just off free throws alone and ended the game with like thirty and everybody was praising him and I'm like, bro, they praise Kobe's shot selection is. Horrible, bro. Like if, if you watch, if you watch, if you watch a lot of them games, bro, Kobe get bailed out a lot from the free throw line. That's, he got bailed out by Shaquille O'Neal for half his career, bro. I'm, I'm gonna tell you another thing that separate Bron, Michael, Bron, Jordan, and Kobe. 
Jordan and Kobe, they always get they always got the fouls. If you notice, Brian don't be getting fouls like that, bro. Like he attacked the rim more than them niggas. Like if, if you notice, bro, Brian probably like a get like seven fouls a game. If you if you look at these stats, bro, Kobe and Jordan was going to the free throw line 17, 18 times, bro. Like I'm watching, I watched the whole Lakers playoff run from they beat the Hornets, they beat the Jazz, and they beat bro. Kobe was going to the free throw line 15 times a game. And I'm like, if Kobe can give you 15 from the free throw line, it's gonna I be I think the NBA doesn't want LeBron to be the GOAT. That's what I'm saying. That's that's what I said earlier, bro. That's what I said yeah, that's earlier, true. bro. Kobe, I don't think they want to be out, man. Because statistically and like player wise, like all around game, that nigga surpassed Jordan like ten years ago. Yeah, facts. Like ten years ago, he passed him. So it's like, all right, cool. He got four rings now. He should get one more MVP. He's going to get a Defensive Player of the Year award. What He's more do y'all want? Is yeah, definitely. You think he's gonna get it this year? Definitely. Defensive. They're the number one ranked uh, defensive efficiency in the league, and that's without AD playing for sixteen yeah, games. Yeah, I, I would say that. Yeah, man, you never know with this league, though, bro. They so they had a lead song. Yeah, lead with on some whole shit, though. Man, Rudy Gobert. Going if they don't, if they don't give him MVP, <laughs> they gotta give him either or or both. I don't see how Bron don't end the the year every year with an award, bro. He's the best in some category every year, bro. If, bro, ten finals, bro. You know how crazy that. Yeah, is? Yeah, bro. No other player done that. No organizations haven't even done that. Only three organizations have done something like that. So how is he not winning an award every fucking year? Wait, so it doesn't make no sense. So who y'all think going to the finals this year? Y'all think the Lakers going? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I, I, you been look at you been against LeBron in the playoff series. I I never do, but AD seem to keep getting injured, bro. I don't know what's that might that might be a problem. That might be a problem. If AD if AD healthy, the Lakers going until I see somebody uh beat LeBron in the playoff series. <laughs> facts. I'm not going. But until yeah, facts, facts. But until if if AD healthy, then yeah. And Wesley Matthews. If AD eighty five percent. I'm running with it, bro. Okay, all right, all right, cool. But Wes Wesley Matthews and uh, those other players gotta be like eighty five. They gotta knock down these shots, bro. Yeah, the, those shots gonna come. The shots gonna come. I the hope play so. the effort. That's not. They have to play the effort and the defense to keep up. The shots Listen. gonna fall. The shots gonna fall at some point. So you can't be worried about. Oh, uh, he not making shots right now and shit. They gonna fall. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you why though. We we talked about how how we don't like Paul George. <laughs> Paul George <laughs> going crazy. <laughs> Paul going George, crazy. He, no, a, yeah. he an all star caliber player that they expect for Paul George to do that. Niggas oh. not expecting. That, that's why I'm not celebrating team. when I'm seeing him play good because he's supposed to do this shit. This exactly. is Paul George. Exactly. Bro. All, right, all right, listen. All I'm saying is if. Anthony Davis ain't healthy. The Lakers ain't going. I, I can see. I can see. I can see the Clippers coming out. If if the Lakers, if AD no, I can hell see no. Clippers. You don't think so? The Lakers not. The Lakers not winning the finals. They're going to the finals, nigga. All right, who going on the East? If KD not healthy, Philly. Yeah, I said if 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 Joel come back and KD not healthy, I say Philly. Because I've been wanting Boston to go Joel for the last Embiid? three years, but they can't keep the scene to get it together. So, who gonna stop Joel Embiid? Yeah, he he on fire. Who gonna stop Ben Simmons? They what crazy. Do ben, what do Ben Simmons and, do though? He, he attacks the rim like nobody else. He's he facilitates. Only thing he can't he do is great shoot. defense. Yeah, he facilitates. If he attacked the rim and he if he, he get to the free throw line eleven times, how many free throws he knocking down? I don't oh, know. Probably half. <laughs> six, seven. seven, six, or seven. All right, cool. And they got a decent bench now. They they got Tobias Harris. Right. They Seth got Curry. Um, they, they, they got, got Seth Southern now. Curry. Yeah, they got a decent. Yeah, they got okay, a decent. Cool. Bench. But all them, if any, if that means Kirk step Seth and Tobias Harris are going to have to step up. Tobias Seth Curry been, what is battle tested, bro. He been in the playoffs multiple times. Yeah, he, yeah, he, 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 he,
Bro, he was just with the Mavericks last year, battling with the Clippers. He was with the Portland Trailblazers a couple years ago, Yo, playing against his brother in the playoffs. And his brother put him like, out. He's been in, he's been in situations, <laughs> bro. See, stop being silly, bro. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Stop it, bro. Philly, Philly need another shoot. They need JJ Reddick. That's who they need. They need JJ Reddick. A nigga who don't play defense. He's like thirty six. He gonna knock down some shots though. But that's it. You can put a, if he don't play defense, put bro, him on. That era of basketball is over, bro. If you not hold on, hold on. a two way player, if he if don't, you play don't have defense, the ability to affect the ball on both sides, you're useless in this league. If bro. he don't play defense, put him on Joe Harris or Brent Brown. Joe I, Harris can play a little defense, bro. Okay, that he, don't <laughs> but Joe Harris ain't gonna go off on JJ Reddick. He can't. <laughs> You're underestimating Joe Harris. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. You are. I'm, I'm, Joe Harris can go off for 30, nigga. What do you I'm mean? Just, I'm, I'm just understanding you got KD, Kyrie, and Durant. As hey, Joe Harris can still go for 30. I said KD, Kyrie, and Durant. I mean, Harden. That, them three, they're not going to give Joe Harris the opportunity to go off. Yes, I'm bro. You. He's an open shooter. If, he's been, if you're double teaming Kyrie, KD, Kyrie, KD, or Harden, when they have the ball, and Joe Harris is right beside him, he's open. Who are they going to give it to? Joe Harris. Think, it's a reason why Kyrie told Harden, you're the point guard. <laughs> but but you're, you're not listening. If these niggas is getting trapped or they're getting doubled to a point where they have to pass the ball up, and Joe Harris is the only open nigga, he going to knock it down. Every. You 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 telling me Joe Harris is gonna knock this shot? He's shooting like forty something percent from three, okay. nigga. All right, I'm gonna take your word for it. Just when the playoffs hey, come playoffs around. a different atmosphere though. <laughs> when the playoffs, playoffs oh, come yeah, around, oh yeah, for sure. For <laughs> when sure, the playoffs sure, come bro. around and Joe Harris missing these shots, I'm, I'm I don't I, know. I don't see it happening. I don't see Joe Harris knocking down them shots. I just don't. I do. I don't. If JJ, if you expect JJ Red to do that, I really believe that Joe Harris can too. Why? Why would they need to trap them though? Trap KD or Kyrie or Harden, and leave Joe Harris open if he's shooting forty six percent. You want Kyrie? You want to either KD, Kyrie, or Harden to go one on one? I would. I would much rather that happen. No, you much Listen. rather not. No, yes, because I would much rather put my faith in them than because if Joe Harris do get hot, it's over. <laughs> if we That's have true. three, well, out I would of rather food, take my chance in Joe Harris. I'm not doing that. No, than Kyrie, Kevin Durant, because they, or James be, because Harden then that's four shot. people you got to worry about. That's four people you got to worry about. Bro, you, you trying like to act like Joe Harris ain't nothing to worry about. You act like these niggas going 21 from 21 from the field, bro. <laughs> they be missing shots, bro. KD's a great three-point shooter. Harden's a good three-point shooter. Kyrie's a good three-point shooter. Joe Harris, one of the best shooters in they the league. They're not shooting threes, though, all the time, though. Yes, they They're are. They're shooting mid-range. They, Kyrie, 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 Kyrie's, Kyrie's, Kyrie's the deep. only one who's taking that many mid-range. James Harden is on the three line. Joe Harris lives on the three line. Okay, that's Even it. Even that times KD lives on the three line. Okay, but KD gonna take what five threes? I mean, morally, and he gonna he gonna post up. He gonna take he gonna five up. threes. But KD definitely taking like eight or nine threes a game. Okay, at least eight or no, he's not taking no eight or nine threes, bro. Okay, how many he making out of eight or nine? Like three or at four. least five or six. Okay, at least. That's 15 points. In the playoffs, maybe. Yeah, that's 15 points. So how many I even give him that in the playoffs too. That's Kevin Durant. How many more points? If he or he got 15 from a three-point line, how many more you give him? How many more points? Mid-range, foul line. Oh, uh, he'll have like 30 something. Okay. Okay. Durant averaging 30. How much Kyrie averaging? 25. One of them niggas ain't gonna average 20. James Harden not. James Harden play- has twenty. In the playoffs, it's gonna 19, be. 20. In the playoffs, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be tough. You, uh, uh, bro, James Harden. But y'all having- realizing? You're, you're not realizing that when you're in the playoffs, the benches get shorter. So if you got yes. three superstars, you don't expect these three niggas to all score thirty. Bro, these niggas, bro, it's not 2K, bro. They get tired, bro. <laughs> they, they don't all have to play on the court with each other. 
You just said the bench gets shorter. Who playing then? You can sit one of them. You can sit two out of three niggas to get rest. Okay, and have and who you, one of the stars in. And who you putting in? You can either break off a big, a wing, or a guard. Okay, now we're trapping them off the pick and roll. Now, is they going to go off? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, you got me there. The you only, me there. the you only one, there. the only one who you can trust is Harden. Harden can make that play. Kyrie gonna shoot the ball. You know Kyrie gonna shoot it. KD a capable passer. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, right, right, cool. But that's what I'm saying, <laughs> bro. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. D, bro, D, in the playoffs, it's, it's gonna get real crazy because you're gonna it's watch it. Playoffs, you're gonna watch it. it oh, like, all right, cool. Like, all right. I don't know. I, I that feel season like, shit, man. As long as you clutch a spot in the playoffs, that's all that matters. But that season shit, that's the hype. The playoffs is the shit. I ain't going to lie. As long as they keep James Hart on the floor, they good. That's what I'm saying. Because that's their playmaker. Giannis, yeah. Giannis, Giannis messed up by staying, though, bro. I ain't going to lie. He I ain't going to lie. He should have forced his way to L.A. No, he should have. No, he should have went to Dallas. He should have went to Dallas. Him and, him and Luca together would have been fucking oh, would've been crazy. God, man. They, that, but you that know what? The, but. But I ain't gonna say, Giannis got to get better. At what? He don't want to. He needs a post game. He's not a. They do. You, do you know what's wrong with niggas? They think of this nigga as a as a wing. He's not a wing, bro. He's a center. I said that, bro. I don't know how he got. I don't know how they got that nigga at small forward listed, bro. I do not He's know. A, bro. He is a fucking that's what he big, came, bro. That's what he, that's he don't, what he he don't have no me, post bro. game. He has no post footwork. Nothing. He needs to play in the post. Fuck shooting threes, bro. That 2K, 2K, got, 2K got that nigga shooting threes. I be sorry, bro. I'm like, he don't do right, that he shit, a, bro. He's a center, bro. He is yeah. not a Yeah, he, he, he should have he went to... Uh, that he, nigga be averaging 30 and 13. Bro, you are a center. He can pass yeah. the ball, though. He gets doubled, my nigga. Somebody's going to be open. He's not no fucking... I, he, he's not a... His playmaking skills is not that for real. On the game, somebody maybe, bro. <laughs> that's different, man. I be getting different. triple doubles with him, bro. I don't know. How. Wait, hold on. We ain't about to do Giannis like that because I think he averaged like six, seven assists. No, he don't. Yes, he does. Yes, he how? does. He averaged at least six and a half. The fuck. Oh no, bitch got them assist numbers though. He I ain't gonna lie. He averaged four for his career. He averaging six this year. That's his most he ever averaged. He got like 30 and 12. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. My hair feel better that it's not in these fucking braids no more. God damn. Hey, it, this this year he averaging 29. And, oh, wow. That's crazy. I kind of see why he won MVP last year. I do too. Bro. He was averaging like 30 or something. 29 points and 13 rebounds and five assists. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, he was, yeah. <laughs> he going crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn. You gotta, well, I, mean, that, I was watching the Bucks games last year. I'm like, yeah, I, I kind of see why. But you know what his downfall? He got to be a center, bro. Ain't nobody over there. Him. Ain't nobody guarding him for real, though, so. Can't no big keep up with him. Man, I ain't know Giannis was like this, though. Nah, bitch, numbers crazy. Ain't nobody guarding him on a day to day basis, though. Like he, you, he facing the Hornets. Ain't nobody on the Hornets that can guard him. <laughs> like, shit, he he. That's a lot of teams in the league who can't guard him for real. He don't do that against the Lakers. LeBron went crazy on because him. it's a nigga like LeBron and AD, but. Not a lot of teams got niggas like Bron and AD. So, so we we just um we ain't messing with Miami. Miami done with. Huh? If Miami in the playoffs, it's 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 it's, it's, fair it's game. uh yeah. But it is a lot of teams that have more talent. Hold on. The Celtics hey, Cavs making the playing game. Fuck what niggas talking about. The Celtics is eight. The Don't fuck? let the Cavs sneak into the playing game. How is the, that? Celtics, the Celtics is the eighth seed right now. How's that possible? Trade Jason Tatum. And the Bulls. 
They and the Bulls in ninth, right? No, the Bulls in tenth. They We're behind. The they behind the Knicks and the Hornets <laughs> and the Hawks. I hate Trey Young, bro. Yeah, Trey. Yeah. Oh my God, bro. Yeah. Why do niggas? Hey, what's the hate on Trey Young, bro? Because bro, he come off the man. He be coming off the pick and roll. And he be doing. Do you see how he play basketball? He, yeah, he he. I ain't get irritated. He, he, but nobody says nothing about James Harden, and all he do is some corny ass step backs looking for a foul. No, I can, I can, bro. Trey Young like that one skinny look, that one skinny white kid. I, I'm gonna do what Trey Young do. This is what he do. <laughs> this is what he do. He come off the pick and roll, and the person that's chasing him, he be like, he throw his butt. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he definitely on, do man. that sometimes, though. He definitely do that. That should be blowing me, bro. He wait for the nigga that's chasing him to like, come where he at. Then wait, throw his body back. I hate that shit, bro. I hate that. Yeah, shit. I don't like. Tra- and it's I don't not even, basketball. Like I don't. He's so little. I don't even be seeing what he be doing. Like, bro, you so little, bro. Like, where you be at, bro? I honestly feel like Trey Young can be like a, a a point guard in a championship team. He can give you twenty and, and nine, twenty points and nine assists. Yeah. If he take a, he got to take a lot of shots to get there, though. No, he don't. He a it's- good three point shooter. What that mean, bro? And he can create his own shot. He gets to the he gets to the cup a lot for his size. Cause he, he cause get he a lot cry. of foul shots. Cause he cry. Do you be watching Trey Young, bro? Bro, bro <laughs> what real shit? What nigga in the league don't cry for fouls? No, bro. You don't, bro. Do you be watching Trey Young though, bro? I watched Trey Young. I watched Luka Doncic. I watched LeBron James for 18 fucking years. I am, out of all the niggas our age, I enjoy watching Luka and John ja Morant the most. Not Luka. You don't enjoy watching Luka? His game too slow for me. He does everything. <laughs> hey, remember when you said earlier, like, he wanted the, the you and player players be so fundamental? Bruh, he's so smooth and sneaky, That's bruh. That's bruh. Like, he just be so... I ain't gonna lie. If when the, when the Mavericks play the Clippers, I always gotta watch because he be cooking them. He need to he, he need to drop like fifteen ass. pounds. He need to drop like nigga, fifteen. That nigga do every game. Luca be forty six point seventeen rebounds. And he looks out of shape. He look out of shape like a motherfucker. He ain't playing out of shape. He's six seven, bro. He like, but he still look like he's hunky. I think that's just his jersey. He weigh two thirty. Six seven, normal shit. He need to lose like fifteen of that. No, because he's not gonna be getting them them boards that he get if he ain't got that weight. Yeah, I'm I'm confused, bro. He ain't gonna be getting them rebounds that he be getting if he lose them uh that fifteen. Pounds. He just he six just seven. Only, he the same size as Jason Tatum. Yeah, I thought JT was like six eight six nine. Hold on. Him and feel good to have these braids out. All right, let's see. Jason Tatum. We're about to end this in a second because I am tired. Right. We've been on this bitch for like three and a half. Jason Tatum, 6'8. Two told you. Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum about to be overrated too. If he will change this game up. I don't think he overrated. I, I think I think he don't have the right people around him. I think he need a veteran. Yeah. I think he need to um stop being such a ball holder. He if his team like, can be a a, a scoring team, he ain't gonna do that shit. Yeah, he, but he he is he, on a score. He's with a score first point guard and a score first shooter. Kimba can't even exactly. stay healthy, dog. He he need he need a he need a veteran he need a veteran point guard. Like he needs somebody like Rondo or Chris Paul. Yeah, one hundred percent. And then they they need that they need that center like they need a center like Stephen Adams or like somebody like Kendrick Perkins. They got Robert Williams. He like six eight, bro. But he got crazy hops for a second. Somebody scared of that nigga, bro. We talking about somebody. Mm-hmm. We talking about somebody scary that's like intimidating, bro. Like right, Kendrick who? Perkins, you was like you was scared to come in and paint. Like if 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 whoever Jason that nigga Blake Griffin wasn't scary, he hopped over that nigga. Come on, bro. Kendrick Perkins came off a knee injury, all that. It's Blake. Ah, <laughs> give me that bullshit, man. <laughs> we talking about we talk about for somebody that's gonna blow past Jalen Brown or uh Ken Kimba Walker or Jason Tatum, and they gotta go in the hole and be like, damn, Kendrick Perkins down there, Kevin Garnett down there. Like, I'm scared. They don't have that, bro. That's why I'm that's why I'm gonna be done with 
the NBA in a few years, bro. I don't want to watch this. You mean like niggas ain't gonna be blocking shots like AD and these like nobody gonna be blocking shots like that no more. No, and that's I love the John podcast, you guys. Oh yeah, I want to oh, yeah. thank. I want to thank my my guests, my niggas, the whole time podcast. I'm looking at emo as fuck right now. I don't know how long we've been on this, bro, but it's crazy. We've been on this bitch for three hours, at least three. <laughs> my seat hot as fuck. I probably had like 17 farts in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, we record tomorrow? Hell yeah, nigga. Yes, yeah. I'm cool the whole weekend. I'm free. Until the next time, peace. What's up? Oh, that was at least three hours.